and a very good morning to our viewers around the world for this Dream 11 European Cricket Series. Day 4, match 13 in Kummerfeld. And this morning's match, which was due to begin at 9am between SG Findorf and SC Europa, as you can see. Still quite wet conditions out there, rain coming down lightly. But we're expecting a delayed start to this match. SC Europa Cricket winning the toss, electing the bat. We can see the SG Findorf team all ready despite the conditions, warming up their arms on the field. Exactly when we will be able to have the first ball of this morning is not entirely clear. We will of course keep you updated.
And welcome back here to the Kummerfeld Sportverein field. The rain has somewhat diminished and we are hoping to have a start in just a few minutes. Final preparations being made there by the ground staff. Some discussions between officials and umpires. Batsmen raring to go. As SG Findorf, led by Captain Hamid Varak, make their way onto the field. So positive signs here in Kummerfeld. The game looking to take off with the first ball. Now rescheduled to 10 past 9 local time. SC Europa batsman already at the crease. And the SG Findorf team making their way into position. Opening the batting for SC Europa will be the captain, Sahel Darwesh, who's taken up his position at the striker's end. He'll be accompanied by Ashish Sharma. And opening the bowling for SG Findorf will be Ivan Bart. All players well rugged up today, or the most of them. Some very generously padded pullovers, hoodies. play just about to get underway Well, just warming up there. As is Ashish Sharma.
as Yvonne Bart ready for the first ball of the day and this is a ball outside the off stump it's just chopped down to short cover and there's no run So hell I'm going to take a few balls here just to adjust to the conditions as will Jivan Bart with the ball difficult slippery conditions for grip as he comes in again, left arm over the wicket, and this ball's wide outside the off stump. Slashed at by Sahil, it's a wide. You might expect a little more cross-seam bowling if bowlers are going to struggle in these wet conditions. As Bart comes in again, and this ball's straighter, pitches middle and leg, just chopped down to mid on, and that'll be the first run of the day, one single. There's Ashish Sharma. Takes guard to, fa to face his first ball of the day. Day four here, match 13 of the Dream 11 European Cricket Series, Gummerfeld. Bart in again, and this ball's a lofty ball. It's been played straight under his stumps. First ball, Ashish Sharma has played on. A loopy ball outside the off stump. There's an inside edge straight back onto the stumps, and he departs first ball. <laughs> Sharma. Be very disappointed with his performance there. Not a great deal of footwork in that shot. Hung the bat out. And chipped it straight back onto his stumps. Jivan Bart delighted to pick up a wicket in his first over. The new batsman, Dawood Khan Aryubi, number wearing number 26 today. Taking guard there, he'll also want to take a ball or two just to evaluate the pitch, the bounce, any variations the pitch may offer here under slightly wet and damp conditions. As Yvabart comes in again and this ball is pitching just outside off, it's chipped down to third man. A straight batted vertical shot and they'll take one run. Jivan Bart again. Steaming in over the wicket. It's a short ball down leg side. It's chipped to square leg. There's no run. Batsman think about it. Darwood. Did make his way down the wicket and sensibly sent back by Sahel. Given <laughs> again, and this ball's straight and pitching middle and just chipped back to the bowler. There'll be no run. That's the end of the over. Three runs from it and one wicket. And joining me here in the commentary box, it's a very good morning to Malit Herat. Good morning, nice to be here. It's slightly overcast conditions for cricket, but it's good that we get the game, got the game underway. And a good start by Bremen, by Findorf. Right on the money, I would say. And your thoughts, Malit, for a target score? in these conditions? I would say it's going to be a low scoring game because of the outfield and how the ball is behaving on the pitch. So 80 to 100 would be a challengeable total, I guess. And it looks like it's going to be Alexander Knappmann for SG Findorf to bowl the second over. Just making sure he's got the ball nice and dry for his first delivery as he charges in now. 
Right arm over the wicket, and this ball's pitching just outside the off stump. It's chopped down to square leg, and there's no run. It's a slightly ambitious shot by Vaud there. Should look to play with the straight bat, just get the basics of cricket. There's no need to slog every ball in T10, unless you're in the last over, I guess. Still, you have to treat the new ball bowler as a new ball bowler and respect the good balls. The bowler in again, and this ball is short and wide outside the off stump. One wide signalled. Dawood had no chance. Slashes wildly in vain. Loose ball there. I have been seeing this bowler for the first time. He's a new addition to Findorf, I think. New bowler Knappman in again. This is another short ball outside the off stump. This time, Dawood connects. It's four runs over cover. Good shot. Cleared the infield. That's all he needs to do in the power play. And get good value for the shot. Just cleared the black back leg and just slashed at it. It's a good shot. Yeah, Dowd coming in at the fall of the first wicket. He's a regular opener for this tournament for us. Knappen in again, and this is a shorter ball outside the off stump. Dawood comes down the pitch, charges, swings and misses, and there's no run. The idea was right. He's trying to put the pressure on the bowler. Coming in again, and this ball is pitching outside the leg stump. There's a half hearted appeal, no run. Umpire suggesting that the ball is sliding down the leg stump, hitting him outside the line of leg stump as well. Looks to be quite wide there. Dawood perhaps lucky that the ball didn't spring back onto the stumps from his lower pad. May have been the excitement of the morning with such an appeal. Batman again, and this ball's also short, very wide outside the off stump. That will be five wides. It's a real bonus for SCE. The ball just kept swinging away from the keeper. Just went away. No chance for the short third man fielder. Some considerable shape there for Knappman. Yeah. He'll need to bring that right in towards pitching on middle if he's going to want to use swing of that caliber. He's got some pace and he's got some bounce as well. Looks like a very steady bowler with a steady arm, steady high arm action. Let's see Odopa. 18 for the loss of one wicket. Out, eyeing up the field. Now there's a cover point on the boundary and fine leg is at the fence as well. Knappen in again and this ball is shortish again outside the off stump. It's chipped down to point. There's a throw at the stumps. Unsuccessful. And they pick up a single. Correction 14 for one now as Knappen looks to finish off his over. Directed and he was out for all money and that would have been a big wicket for SE because captain Sahil is looking to stand strong and s put them uh, into a good position with a good start and Mali, do these sorts of risky singles necessary at this stage of the match or? I wouldn't say so we have to assess the conditions Mali better again, I guess this is short just out off stump it's punched beyond the point they'll definitely pick up just the single. Good fielding there and the decision not to risk the second by Sahel. End of the over. It's interesting because these singles are going to become crucial at the end of the game because, like I said, the outfield is wet. The, I I think it won't be a very high scoring game, so these singles are crucial for rotation of the strike and putting the bowler off his mark. There's a change in the, sorry, not a change in the bowling, the first bowler number one. This will be Jivar Bart to bowl. To continue. To continue. We're not able to say that quite as often as usual. Yeah, <laughs> just the two overs. <laughs> Just the two overs. Looks like he's coming off. He won't be continuing then. 
And we're going to see. It is indeed Rashad Mehmud. Who will be coming in right arm over the wicket. Perhaps uh, SG Findorf wanting to keep the tight bowling of uh, Jiva Bart for a later over, Rashid? I would say so. Um, Rashid, uh, Rashid is also a very good swing bowler. He's got a gentle outswinger. Not so much pace, so the keeper can stand up. Rashid now, and this ball is outside the off stump. There's a thick edge. It goes through first and second slip for four runs. Got lucky there. Maybe if the keeper was standing back, I'm sure he would have got a glove on that, but just didn't have enough time to react from so, so close by. But a good start by Rashid, right on the money. Well, just well, yeah, you certainly picked the, uh, the swing. I think Sahel may not have quite expected the ball to move away from him like that. Caught the edge as planned. Just fortunate for Sahel that there's uh, no slip in place. Now the keeper's gone right back just to take those edges. Yeah, Rashid has been a pillar of uh, Findorf. He's been there for more than 10 years, I think. And we've played a lot against this team, so He's a good friend of us. <laughs> There's a short, short discussion there by umpires as Rashid comes in again, and this ball is short outside the off stump. There may have been a slight edge. In any case, the ball makes its way out towards point, and they take a single. No signal from the umpire, suggesting that there was an edge, but looked to be no edge on the replay. Just went through for a bye, I guess. Well, it's runs in the book. May have been a fine edge there. In any case, the ball keeping yeah. low in these conditions. As Darwood takes strike. Some minor adjustments in the field. Man at long on coming, long off rather, coming into the circle as Rashad comes in again. And this ball's wide outside the off stump. A swing and a miss. No run. Just within the wide line where Rashid can put the ball. I think it's a really good start by Findorf. They've been right on the money and not given too many extras. And given the conditions, the pitch is quite slippery. The bowler can easily lose rhythm. Bowler in again, and this ball's closer toward the off stump. It's another big swing and a miss, just short of a length. Ball keeping low, and there's no run. That would. Really having trouble here. Connecting. A big swing there. He's not watching the ball close enough, I think. He's just swinging outside the line of the ball. Rashad. This ball's wide outside the off stump again. This time Darwood connects. He punches that beyond cover, and that's four runs. That is a much better cricketing shot. Rocked on the back foot and slapped it through cover point. Yes. Much more beautiful than the heave hole over mid wicket. Well, Malade, I think we've seen the fours on the offside have been from balls pitched outside the off stump. And the majority, Darwood, has missed, failed to connect with. He's attempted to hoik on the leg side. True. Just good cricketing shots. Rush it again, and this ball's closer, just outside the off stump. It's hit beyond point and will run away, not for a boundary. The batsmen come back for two. Good effort in the field down there. Slippery conditions in the field as well. Combination effort there. With the point and gully fly slip fielders. And quite an entertaining relay throw. That's the end of the over. 26 for one. After three overs. The first introduction of spin into the attack. Amar Kavaja is introduced into the bowling attack. Amar Khalid. I'm, I stand corrected. 
Amar Khalid, just making some adjustments there with his captain, Hamid Vardak, as he comes in to bowl. And this ball is wide outside the off stump. It's a attempted cut. It's not a wide, and there's no run. Sahel, perhaps not quite getting his back foot across enough. Keeper taking off the veils in, in vain. Baller in again. This ball's outside the off stump. Very similar shot, and Sahel very disappointed. The two from two. He's been unable to connect outside the off stump. There's no run. I think the ball is skidding through a little bit quicker than Sahel expects. He's on the back foot, ready for that backward cut. But the ball just skids through a little bit quicker than expected. Baller in again, and this ball's wide outside the off stump. It's chipped over what would be gully and races to the boundary for four. Bit of luck. Luck favours the Braves. Sahil just going for a wild swing once again after two dot balls and a good pressure release shot because the result was good in the end. Amar Khalid. Sporting a number one shirt. Perhaps a fan of Usman Khawaja of Australia comes into bowl and this ball's outside the off stump. Sahil hits it very high in the word. Hamad uh, Wadak is under it. He's dropped it. Slippery conditions. They scramble through for a second. There's still confusion. Throw to the keeper's end and it is two runs. Oh. Tough effort there in the field. It was a high ball. Sahil standing across, hitting the ball miles in the air. Wadak never quite getting underneath it. As it spills to the ground for two. Come out again, and this is a an attempted reverse sweep by Sahil to a very wide ball outside off stump, which is signalled wide. I think if Hamid would have been standing on the end on the edge of the circle, he might have made a better effort for that. Omar Khalid again. This ball is pitching just outside off. Sahil gets a piece of it this time. It's six runs over Cal Corner. Good shot there by Sahu. Good connection. End of the over as well. Sorry, not the end of the over. One to go. Eleven runs from the over, including a four and a six and one extra. Khalid, this ball is pitching just outside the off stump. Dabbed at by Sahil, who misses it straight through to the keeper, and there's no run. That'll be the end of the over. 39 for the loss of one wicket. SC or Europa Cricket with Sahil Darvesh and Dawood Khan Arubi at the crease. What did you make of the reverse sweeper attempt, aborted attempt, Mullet? Too ambitious, too running ambitious. Running out of time, running out of. Nah, he out of ideas. I think he was uh, looking to put the bowler off the mark. The armor was bowling a good tight, not tight, but just outside, inside the wide line, outside off stump. So Sahil looking to use that space and slap it over short third man. It's going to be rush hard to continue as he bowls to Darwood just outside the off stump. Another attempted drive, missed. And there's no run. Good ball by Rashad there. Just gentle movement away from Dao, just enough to beat the edge. Dao standing tall, facing Rashad once again. Rolling coming in and this is just outside the off stump. Dao connects with the ball, possibly hits into his helmet. There's no run in any case. The bowler slightly bemused. Definitely got the helmet there. Don't think it got any bet. Just smack on the helmet. Perhaps I'm quite right, you are. There didn't appear to be any bat there, and perhaps Darwood can consider himself a little lucky not to have helmeted onto his stumps as Rashid comes in again. And this is a wide ball outside the off stump, another slash. It's within the Lions, dot ball. Darwood appearing to become increasingly frustrated with his failure to hit the big one. Rashad in again, and this ball pitches just outside the off stump. Dawood does connect this time down to long off, and they'll pick up a single. It's important that one batsman who is connecting well 
just looks to hit the ball and the other batsman who's having a little trouble just rotate the strike. And uh, Rashad, his ball is pitching just outside the off stump. A huge swipe by Sahil. Nowhere near that ball. Straight through to the keeper and there's no run. I think it kept a tad low there. The shot was on, I guess. Russia steams in once again. And this ball is a lofty ball outside the off stump. Another swing and a miss outside the off stump. Keeper fumbles it. They'll pick up one by. And that's the end of the over. SC Europa. 41 for the loss of one wicket at the halfway point of their innings. It was a great over by Russia in the context of the game. Just two runs. We haven't seen so many boundaries yet. So... Well on track for your target of 80. I'm hoping it will end up at 100. <laughs> With nine wickets in hand. As Rashad, I beg your pardon, Amam Khalid. We'll continue the bowling. And this ball is a lofty ball outside the off stump. It's connected by Sahil. It's over cover and four runs. A little bit of an outside edge, but was in the gap. It's a safe shot to play, I guess, over extra cover. Sahil breathing a slight sigh of relief there. Good start to this over. Both batsmen have it been in there for five overs now, so they should have their eye in and carry on from here. As Khaled comes again, this is a wide ball outside the off stump. Sahil steps across, hits it high in the air. Nobody under it there at square leg. They'll take a single. It's not so easy to get under Amar. He's, uh, he bowls a heavy ball and that's why Batsmen find it a little bit difficult to hit him. Right, again, this ball pitches just outside the off stump. It's hit down to backward point and they pick up a single. Good running there by the batsman. That's what Dowd should do. If he's not connecting, just hit the ball and get on the other side. Sahil looking good at the moment. It again, and this ball's pitching on middle and off. It's been somehow hit down to backward square leg. They're coming back from the second. The keeper thinks about taking off the bails, elects not to, and that's two to Sahil. Khalid in again and he aborts that ball. It's not entirely sure what was going through his head there. He just pulled out at the last moment. Comes in again and this ball is wide outside the off stump. Sahil steps across and hits the ball straight past mid wicket. That's four. That also brings up the 50 for SC Europa. 50 for the loss of one wicket. We're into the sixth over. So, four overs to go after this one and uh, nine wickets in hand. I hope there's an explosion. Omar Khalid and this ball's outside the off stump. It's very high in the air again. There's a chance at mid long on, a long off. It dropped and the batsmen come back for two. A very high ball there. Not the first we've seen today from Sahil Khan. The fielder at long on. Didn't really quite get there. Also the fielder at... Long off rather and uh, deep cover. And the ball making its way between them. I think it's Aziz down there. He's a very good fielder. He made a good effort as well. But the ball was not timed enough. 
to reach him. And the score moves on to 55 for one after six overs as Farouk is introduced into the track. Farouk Amiri, right arm bowler. He also likes to bowl on pitches where there's bounce on offer. As Farouk Amiri comes in, and this is a very wide ball outside the off stump. Lawa just looks at it as it's signaled wide. Gulam Farouk Amiri. He's getting a loosener there. Have slippery hands. Very slippery conditions out there. As Farouk comes in again and this ball's also wide outside the off stump. It's smacked up in the air by Dawood. Falls short from the fielder at long on and they'll pick up a single. These missed time shots, I'm not sure if they're good or bad for us. <laughs> you never know if the batsman coming in next can connect it over the boundary. <laughs> That's the question you have to ask. Amedi. And this ball's a wide ball down the leg side. Full toss. The umpire is just deciding whether that constitutes a wide or no ball for height. Didn't appear to be from the replay. It has been signaled a no ball. And a free hit to SC Europa after a little bit of confusion. The field cannot be changed since Sahil is on strike. Amiri comes in again and this ball is a foolish ball just pitching on leg or just outside the ball chipped down to deep mid wicket and it's been stopped with some fancy footwork there and they pick up two runs the umpire has signaled four do you think we can have a third umpire TV replay on that? <laughs> it's a work in progress, Mallet. <laughs> so just confirming there. It was signalled four. Four runs to the total as he comes in again and this ball's a full ball hitting Sahel in what I can only imagine would be an uncomfortable place. There's no run. Yes, Sahil was hit there yesterday as well. Not high. It was a full, a juicy full toss on the leg side. Sahil. Uh, for me, as the moment of the ball passes the bat, it was over his waist height. It dipped at the last minute and still hit him just under his waist. Well, after a first warning, brave decision not to call that. Amiri again. This is another full toss. This is overhead height. This is called immediately no ball when the both umpires they scramble through for a no ball by. Yeah, this is a little bit dangerous. I think the ball is slipping out of uh, Amiri's hand. He's already been given a warning. I wonder how much longer he can get away with this. As Amiri comes in again, and this is a ball which does pitch. Darwood gets under it. And that is six runs. Six runs. That between deep mid wicket and long on. That is the shot he's been looking for all morning. <laughs> Just a big heave over mid wicket. Finally connects. And well played. Two balls to go off this over and already 15 runs have been added to the total. Amiri in now. And this ball is pitching outside the off stump. Darwood tries again. It's a swing and a miss. And there's no run. Amiri, real mixed bag. As he 
comes in again. This ball pitches on middle That's and leg. It's been popped off over mid wicket, deep mid wicket. Six runs. And that's the end of the over. 21 from it. That's a great over for SC Europa. And some good hitting from Daud. The last shot looked quite good. Just flicked it from his pads. And three overs to bat. 76 for the loss of just one wicket. Wickets in hand valuable. Really valuable. This is what is uh, enabling us to accelerate from here. Appears to be Jivan Bart returning to the attack. Jivan Bart, who bowled the first over today, as he comes in left arm over the wicket to Sahil, who has a slash outside off stump, and there's no run. Good delivery. He's gathering up some good pace as well. It's not difficult bowling, uh, not too easy bowling now. The both batsmen are set and looking to smash you to all parts of the ground. You have to be really precise with your line and length. Barton again, this ball's a short ball, it stays low, hits in line with leg and middle and he's been given. That for me is definitely pitching outside leg stump. But you have to accept the decision. Have a close look at the replay, the ball certainly kept low, hitting him. So he'll ride it under the knee roll or on it. And this ball probably hitting just in line with the leg stump. Sahel dismissed in I would say eighth he, over. I would say he's a tad unlucky. He was looking good. But the umpire's decision is final. And S Europa send in their power hitter. He goes under the name of A.B. Shinvari. Nickname, of course. Yes, new batsman Hikmatullah Shinvari, AB, to his fans and friends. He'll be looking for some monster hitting now. He scored a 50 yesterday, 50 of 25 balls in a losing course. As Bart comes in, this ball's wide outside the off stump, a floaty ball hit to cover, cover miss fields. They'll just get the one in any case. Nadaud needs to go. He's been there, he's seeing the ball well. He needs to try to put the score above 100. Bart in now to Darwood, and this ball is another lofty ball outside the off stump. It's punched beyond the cover. That's a fantastic Fieldsman, four runs. It's a fantastic shot. Just beautiful extra cover drive. One step back and just cleared the back leg and smashed it hit the front leg, I should add. Now that have you noticed any discernible difference in the ball speed along the ground for ground strokes? The outfield is still relatively good here. Bart comes in again, this ball pitches on middle and off, it's punched down to deep square leg, they're considering a second, Darwood comes back, it throws into the keeper, the bails are off and it's been given run out. Darwood has run out, attempting a second. Well, I think the run was on, he did well to turn around and get back, but uh, it was a very accurate throw. Fantastic bit of fielding. Yeah, clean pick up there from the fielder at deep square leg. Reasonably close throw to the stumps. And that uh, would perhaps relying on or hoping that any misfield may have assisted his attempt for two. And the new batsman is Israfil Zazai, the ex-captain of SC Europa. And uh, with Israfil at the crease, I think, Malit, you may need to even put on the pad yourself. Yeah, I hope I don't have to go in there, but safety first. Van Bart now and the first ball is hit straight back down the ground. They're going to pick up one, looking to come back for the second as this ball goes between long on and long off. It's a relay throw back. They get in comfortably for two. Thank you, Malit. Thanks for having me. See you guys later. 
And that's the end of the over there from Jivan Bart. SC Europa Cricket. 84 for the loss of three wickets. Alexander Knappman. Who bowled this ninth over? Seems to be some sort of umpiring discussion here. Play just about to resume. A few fielding changes. It's for Phil Sazai. Taking a moment. With Shinvari, who faces this ball. It's hit outside the leg stump. They scramble through for a run of some description. Signaled leg by. Bowler comes in again, Knappen, and this ball is outside the off stump. It gets between bat and a wickets. There's a half shout for a court behind. Not quite sure what the impact was there, but there's no run. Knappen. Balls now, and this is another ball outside the leg stump. It's been hit on the pad and uh, spills out towards. Gully, they'll pick up one leg by. As Knappen comes in again, and this is a short ball outside the off stump. It's punched over mid wicket, spills into the boundary line for four runs. Manda, Manda, Manda. Farouk there, not managing to cut it off. Knappman a little disappointed, perhaps expecting some more acrobatics out there in these wet, slippery conditions. As he charges in again, and this is another shortish ball, kept low, attempted pull, hits it onto his leg and out to short cover, and there's one run. Feel just watches a very, very wide delivery down the leg side as they scramble through for what will be one wide plus a second wide for the run. Deep fine leg preventing a embarrassing five wides. Knappman again, and this ball is short, keeping low outside the off stump. It's punched. Between the covers and long off for four. Safe economical batting there. By Israfil using all advantages of this lush outfield. Risk free four there. And that's the end of the ninth over. 97 for the loss of three wickets. Bowling the last over will be Gulam Farouk Amiri. May not be able to keep SC Europa under 100. Alex, get up. Get him back. But will do his very best. As 
as he comes in now to his refill. And this ball is a shortish ball outside the off stump. It's punched in the air, not good enough to get to long on. They'll pick up a single as the fielder elects to run the ball in. Maybe wanting to avoid the chance of an overthrow in this last over. Arukin again, and this ball is pitching just outside the leg stump. It's punched down, and four runs in the direction of the commentary box, and it's relatively expensive equipment. Just saved in the last minute there by an anonymous bystander. As Farouk comes in now, and this ball is also short outside the off stump. It's high in the air. Rashad is under it, and it will be dropped at deep mid wicket. Rashad doing all the right things, getting underneath the ball, and they take two runs. Difficult conditions here. Not a great deal of wind, but slippery hands will always make very high outfield catches difficult. Rashad. Missing that as Farouk comes again. It's another shortish ball outside the off stump. They try to scramble through for a bye. It's a wild throw at the stumps. They're going to come back for a second bye as the fielder picks up the ball. That would appear to be two byes. As Farouk comes in again, and this ball is another ball that clean bowls the batsman. The bat flying through the air to mid on. Ball keeping low. And that is the end of Israfil Zazai in the 10th over. Quite an impressive slippery grip. We have the new batsman, Shabir Ahmad, number one. He will be here for the last few balls of this 10th over. Shinwari collects his bat and heads off as Farouk comes in now. And this ball is another shortish ball pitching outside the off stump. The keeper throws down the stumps and is a run out in an attempted buy at the bowler's end. It will be Shabir Ahmad. Run out for a duck from one delivery. And that will be the end of the innings. Rain coming down a little heavier here. As SC Europa, a massive total of 106 from their 10 overs. or the loss of five wickets. SG Findorf will be a little disappointed they weren't able to keep SC Europa underneath that 100 run target. We'll see if they're able to chase that. We'll be back in just a few moments for a 10.05 start of the SG Findorf innings. Look forward to your company then.
welcome back to the Dream 11 European Cricket Series Kummerfeld live from Kummerfeld Sportsverein here up in Kummerfeld. Uh, so a little chase now for SG Finnoff, 110 I believe is the target. This Europa in the outfield now. 107 the target, sorry. Uh, Co-commentators, just having a little bit of a break. Caught me off guard here on the mic. Rain has almost completely disappeared. Opening the batting for Findorf is the captain Hamid Vardak there at the striker's end. Oh, I'm going to pass this back over to my colleague. Thank you, James. It's going to be shuff cut, Ashraf on strike. In fact, Hamid Varak on strike. And shuff cut, Ashraf at the non striker's end. Come on, guys, come on. Let's start with the wicket. Umar Farouk, number 15 for SC Europa. We'll be opening the bowling. Target of 107 here in slippery conditions. We saw some difficulties holding those high balls, which we will be expecting in this innings. Left-handed Vardak. In his bright red helmet facing up now as Farouk comes in. And this ball is wide outside the off stump. It's smacked straight back over the bowler's head for a four. Or is it four? A spectacular piece of feeling there down in the deep. We'll just wait for confirmation here. It's two, two runs. And it does appear that that did not make the boundary. Two runs nonetheless to Vardak. He really smacked that ball straight over the bowler's head first up. As Farouk comes again, and this ball is short outside the off stump, and he swipes at it, misses, through to the keeper, no run. Come on, guys, come on, you get over. Umar Farouk. Charging in again, left arm over the wicket, and that ball is also hit back down the ground in the direction of mid-off, and there's no run, fielded there by Darwood after his innings at the top of the order for SC Europa. Vardak. Capitalising early here. As the bowler comes in again. This is wide outside the off stump. Vardak slashes at it. Signalled wide. comes in again and this ball is also oh. wide outside the off stump. Another slash, another wide. Umar Farouk. Just bowling those two outside the tram lines. Vardak. Attempting cut shots in any case. As Farouk comes in again and this is a ball outside the off stump. It's been hoiked. Well connected. Pitching outside the offside, the off stump. And that's four. Six. Goodness. Four originally signalled. Of course, that being a six with such a well-connected shot by Vardak. As the bowler steams in again. This ball's wide down the leg side. Well taken there by the keeper. Mozin Mohammed. Wide ball. A few words of encouragement there. By the fielder at mid-off, Darwood. As Umar comes in again, and this ball's a straighter ball, pitching on middle, coming across the left-handed batsman. It goes to 
Square leg, they'll pick up a single. Ball just hit in front of square there. And just the one delivery to come here. Shafkad Mahmoud, Ashraf. In his green helmet. Ball appearing to fall in a, a sprinkler hole there. Unfortunate for the fielding team. They've done their best to dry it up. As Ashraf takes guard. Ready to face his first ball of the day. This ball is a ball pitching on middle level. It's hit straight back over the bowler's head yet again. The fielder at mid-off. Taps it down, picked up by Dawood there at mid-on, and they'll take a single, end of the over. Thirteen runs from it. A healthy opening start there for SC SG Findorf. It will be Israfil Zazay. Two bowls the second over, right arm over the wicket. Two bowls a short ball first up. It's chipped, edged straight over the keeper's head for four. Some impressive bounce there, Israfil. The batsman appears to have just edged that over the keeper's head. Mohsen Muhammad. No chance there. And deep third man unable to cut that off. Third man coming up and fine leg pushing back now. As the bowler comes in again, and this is another short ball outside the off stump, hit straight to point. There's a misfield. It screams along the boundary, won't get there. Batsman consider a second, decline. And Shafkat is off the mark. Feel in again now, and this ball is a shortish ball outside the off stump. It's pulled away in the direction of the deep mid wicket boundary, and Vardak picks up a four. Vardak, looking dangerous here. Come on, guys. A little difficulty with some earlier balls outside the offside, the off stump. Capitalising now, as Zazai comes in again, and this is a fuller ball just pitching outside the off stump. It's punched, punched, comprehensively past the mid-off fielder there for four. Back-to-back -back fours here for Ahmed Vardak. That time taking no risk. High elbow, class stroke along the ground, splitting the field. As he looks to dominate. Mr. Afil Zazai here. Coming in again, and this is a wide ball down the leg side, just short. Another length and signal wide. Uh, 
as Azai comes in again, and this ball's pitching on off stump. It's hit high in the air by Vardak. There's the fielder under it. He drops it, and it bounces over the, uh, the boundary rope. Four runs. Maybe a little lucky there, Vardak didn't quite get onto it. The fielder did everything right until he was unable to snag the catch. And prevent the boundary. As I fuming now. Balls the ball just pitching outside the off stump. It keeps very low. Vardak does well to play that out. And that'll be the end of the over. 31 for the loss of no wickets. Good over that for SG Findorf. Ahmed Vardak, 21 off just eight deliveries. Accompanied by Shafkat Ashraf. We had six off just three. And now entering the tack will be Dawood Khan Ariubi. Bowling now to Shafkat Mahmoud Ashraf. Just wanting his third man a little straighter, fly slip. As point moves around and Dawood comes in for his first delivery of the day, which is cut beyond point, and it's four. Excellent start there against Dawood. Shafkat effortlessly steering that through the offside field. Dawood wondering how that went wrong. Sensible shot selection here for the most part by the SG Findorf batsman. As Darwood tries again, and this is a fuller ball pitching on off stump. It's punched back down the ground to mid off. The throw comes in. A direct hit may have had Shuff cut in trouble, but they get through for the single. Good feeling there by the captain down at mid off. So Hel Darvesh setting an excellent example or his team of how to get your body behind the ball. And sensible throws into the stumps. As Dawood Ayubi comes in and this ball is pitching on leg stump. It's hit high in the air by Vardak. Well and truly clearing the fence beyond backwards square. That is six runs. Really got all of that. Right in the area that Vardak was able to capitalise. That was a big shot over the net. Ayubi now holds another ball pitching on the leg to middle. This ball is hit in the direction of mid-off. They'll get a single. Straighter there. Coming across the left handed batsman. Not quite as wide on the leg side as the previous ball. Giving Shuck cut the strike as Darwood comes into this ball's outside the off stump. It's punched. It's, it's caught a fly slip. It looked like a punch shot. It caught a, a sizable edge. The catch has been taken very nicely down there. by Abdul Vajid Khan fielding out a fly slip. He's delighted with himself down there. And that's the end of Shafkat Ashraf.
new batsman Azizullah Davodzi also sporting a green helmet could play a very valuable role here in supporting the dominant Vardak at the non-striker end Next time. Davud Khan finally rewarded for his offside bowling as he comes in again and this ball's a foolish Whoa! ball just pitching outside the off stump it's hit down to mid wicket and there's no run end of the over SG Findorf 43 for the loss of just one wicket And Shabir Next man to take up the strike or even take the ball. As he looks around the field for any last minute adjustments. One fielder coming across from the off, or rather on side to a pointish position. And Shabir comes in and this first ball is a shortish ball. Pitching leg. It's a very big six straight over the square leg fielder. He didn't have any chance. A very early valuable lesson learned there for Shabir as we're not to bowl to Hamid Vardak effortlessly playing that full shot off his hips as Shabir comes in again but I'm around the wicket to the leg side ball there's a big appeal for caught behind it would appeal or even appear Flicking the pad there by the look of it. So no wide given, dot ball. Good umpiring there. Should be a right arm around the wicket. And this ball is another leg side ball. Another ball careering into the net. Another short ball. That Vardak is able to easily pick off for six runs. Shabir will really need to draw his line back outside the off stump if he's going to continue to ball to Vardak. He gets ready for this next ball, which is a lofty ball, well and truly outside the off stump. It's not called wide. Vardak can't believe it. <laughs> oh yes, it would have appeared to be quite wide that one. That Shabir gets away with it. As this next ball is pitching well. Well, the ball ends up down leg side. Keeper misses. That's going to be a wide. And they get through for the second wide. Shabir really having difficulty here, controlling his line. Possibly the slippery ball contributing to this. And Shabir comes in now again and this ball is a full toss outside the off stump. It's punched past the fielder out to cover. He doesn't quite take it cleanly. The batsman consider a second. Sensibly sent back there by Vardak. Feeding, 
Shabir comes in again, and this ball is another wide ball outside the off stump. This time called wide. Vardak has a slash at it. A little bit too far away from the body. And it's a sundry to the total. This ball here is short, and Hamid Vardak dispatches another short leg side delivery. For six runs for the what I believe would be the third six in fact of this over three sixes a series of wides and a single and that ends a disappointing over there for Shabir Ahmad 22 runs from it. SG Findorf looking in control here at 65 for just the loss of one wicket after four overs. As Abdul Vajid Khan. Five. To enter the attack. Bowls now, and this is a shortish ball outside the off stump. It's missed through to the keeper, no run. Aziz Davadzi, a little disappointed there that he wasn't able to capitalise. Ball comes in again, it's another ball similarly just outside the off stump, pumps straight to point, and there's no run. And again, this is a much wider ball outside the off stump called wide. As is Davodzi, unable to connect outside the off stump there. And the ball comes in again, and this ball's hit outside the line of off stump. They consider a leg by. There's no run. Bardak just going to have a little bit of a chat to his partner there, perhaps telling him. Concentrated getting bat on the ball. Push that single. Rotate the strike. So that perhaps Vardak himself is able to capitalise here. And the ball that comes in again. This ball's outside the off stump. It's chipped beyond fly slip. And races into the boundary as Shabir does make contact with the ball, in fact, before hitting the fence. He took the ball with him. And with that, it's four runs to SG Findorf. And this next ball is a wide, full toss ball. It's six runs. A comfortable six from a very, very generous full toss. Pitching outside, leg stump, Aziz Olah Davodzi, making no mistake there. As the next ball here is punched beyond the covers, and that will be four through the covers. Cover, and a deep mid-off fielders unable to stop that. End of the over. Right up, taking up the strike now with his team SG Findorf already amassing 80 after five overs. In a very, very, very comfortable Rabbi position here, Jinjang despite Jinjang. the slippery conditions. <laughs> It'll be Ashish Sharma again. 
appearing for SC Europa. Let's see what he can do to Bardak. On 46 off 16 balls. He is clean ball. First ball, Ashish Sharma has got through the danger man. Hamik <laughs> Vardak will be very disappointed. He falls just short of his 50 and is dismissed for 46 from his 17 deliveries faced. He thought he had the ball in the slot there. This was pitching on middle. It cleans up middle and leg stump. And although he's got a smile on his face, he will be disappointed he was unable to take this game Guys, let's fight till the through to a victory. As he is replaced now by Gulam Farouk Amiri. I beg your pardon, that will be Amar Khalid. Sporting number one there, who will take the strike. Ashish Sharma striking with his first ball. SG Findorf now 80 for the loss of two wickets. As Sharma comes in again to the new batsman, this ball's just pitching outside the off stump. It's placed in the direction of cover and they'll pick up one. Armour in again, and this ball is a lofty ball Ooh. outside the off stump. It's a big slash at it. It is wide and called wide. Sharma, another lofty ball outside the off stump. A big swing there by Amam Khalid. No run. Unable to connect. Not making the use of the Nice quick outfield. He oh. steps back from this ball from Sharma and also misses another ball outside off stump. And there's good no run. Ashish, good over. Ashish. Continuing a floaty ball outside the off stump. This time it is connected. And it's caught there on the boundary. <laughs> Umar Farik coming around from long off, long on, and taking that ball with. A little bit of juggling difficulty, but a catch nonetheless. And that is the end of Khalil Wama Khalid. New batsman in. Faru Kamiri. Who will appear to be on strike. Is relatively Come on, this is one more wicket, man. One more wicket. Decorative hairpiece. The practicalities of which I am still yet to fully understand. An entertaining character at the crease in any case, as Ashish Sharma. Prepares for the last ball of what has already been a very successful over for him. One run, one wide and two wickets from it. Sharma in again. This ball is a lofty ball just pitching outside the off stump. It's very delicately played down by Amiri. And that'll be the end of the over. 82 for three here. The loss of two quick wickets. SG Findoff looking to be in. Complete control of this match at the end of the fifth over. Things not quite going to plan there in the sixth over, but still well and truly in control of this match. And it's going to be Abdul Vajid Khan again.
Ruby Davodzi. Oh, the ball which does not bounce very high at all. This is a ball just outside the off stump. Gets through to the keeper. There's a half appeal. No run. This ball keeping very low. Passing the stumps below the halfway point. And this ball there is just delayed in the direction of fly sit. The batsman slips over. They still scramble through in any case. Fielder having a little difficulty with a clean collect and throw there at uh, a gullyish fly slip. Maybe a Ahmad, the fielder there. There's Abdul Vajid. Trundles in again, and this ball's just outside the off stump. It's steered in the direction no, no, of point. No, no, They'll no. pick up one run. Some sensible direction there from the bowler. Wanting to avoid a lightning return by Shabir Ahmad. Only increasing the risk of an overthrow. As Khan comes in again, and this ball is a full oh, ball pitching on off stump. It's paddled in the direction of deep fine leg. They come back for two. Fielder there, Davud in the deep, 26. One bounce into the keeper. Excellent throw, but two runs nonetheless. Ha 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 ha. I'll Vajid, and this ball is a lofty ball outside the off stump. It's punched through the air. There's an attempt to catch. It's dropped at deep mid off. And the umpire just confirming there that this was a six. A valuable six runs there. Sahel almost had it. Spills through his hands over the boundary line. And six runs to. Amar Khalid, Khan again, this ball is over the off, <laughs> off side, it's paddled down the leg side to deep fine leg. And they'll pick up two. Last ball out. And the end of the over. 94 for three after seven. SG Findorf. Just another 15 runs here required in the three overs. Ashish Sharma to continue after his first over of two wickets for just two runs. Sharma now, perhaps SC Europa's best chance at reigning in this ch chase, which his first ball is just outside the off stump. The batsman take a very lazy single. It's misfielded by the man down there in the deeps, Sadesh, uh, rather Sahel Davesh, but it's just one run. Sharma comes in again, and this is a short ball, pitching just outside the off stump. It's punched down to deep mid wicket. They'll just pick up a single. That's been considered a second there as Sharma fumbled it at the bowler's end. Perhaps unnecessary at this stage of the match. Sharma comes in again, and this is a lofty ball outside the off stump. It's hit high in the air, well and truly beyond the boundary. That's a big hit, and six runs straight down the ground to Faru Kamiri. Ashish Sharma bowling extraordinarily well until allowing that full toss to be taken full advantage of. 
Dindorf requiring just five runs now for victory as this ball is another full delivery. It's punched back down the ground. Darvish stops it down there at long on. The batsmen pick up a single. Sharma again, and this ball is a full toss, hit straight to the fielder at mid-wicket. It's none other than his bowling partner, Abdul Vajid Khan, who drops the catch. And there's no run. Amir Khalid making a real mess of that. Not only failing to connect properly, but falling over on the slippery wicket. Ashish Sharma unlucky there as he comes in again. It's another flighted delivery outside the off stump. Reached on the full. Batsman plays the ball down to long on. And there's one run. Under the over. Ashish Sharma finishing his two overs. With two wickets for 12 runs. Just three runs to play with here. SC Europa Cricket. As Imran Khan takes the ball. Amma Khalid, 12 from 9 deliveries, Farouk Amiri, 9 from 5. Not really requiring any risks here as Imran comes in and this ball's pitching outside the off stump, uh, the leg stump even, and they will scramble for a second wide. And that scores level. Imran Khan into bowl and this ball is pitching on middle and off and it's dropped down there in the deep by Sahil Darvesh. Let's see Findorf get through for a single. That's a single to Farouk Amiri. And that's the end of the match. SG Findorf reaching the total of 107 for the loss of three wickets off 8.2 overs. For the batting card, Hamid Vardak, the captain, was eventually bowled by Ashish Sharma, just short of his 50. 46 runs there from just 17 balls, including five sixes. Shafkat Ashraf, 11 runs there with just six balls faced before. Aziz Davodzi had the opportunity to amass 15 from 11. Amar Khalid finishing not out with a nine balls faced. 12 runs, Farouk Amiri with 10 from six balls faced. For the bowling card, Umar Farouk with one over there, 13 runs conceded. Israfil Zazai, one run with 18 runs. One over, in fact. Dawood Khan Aryubi with just the one over there and 12 runs conceded. An expensing over there from Shabir Ahmad, who managed 22 runs off his one over bold Abdul Khan. 25 runs from two. Ashish Sharma, the pick of the bowlers with two wickets, 12 runs. Had a runner ball, two over spell, and Imran Khan bowling just the two balls there. One wide, and a total of three runs in total. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage here of SCG, or even SG Findorf against SC Europa Cricket. The winners here, SG Findorf today, Amassing the total of 107 in the ninth over. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage. And we will return with you at 11.30 Central European time for the next match. And look forward to your company then.
Morning and welcome to the Dream 11 European Cricket Series Kummerfeld live from the Kummerfeld Sports the Rhine here up north of Hamburg. My name is James and joining me in the commentary box is Rick Bruard. Good morning, Rick. Thank you, James. Good morning to you. Big do match. I... Sorry, you get more words. No, do I die here for KSV? Uh, they'll be really shaking out there. Not necessarily die. But yeah, so this is a big matchup for them. If they have a big loss here, they can actually slip okay. below SC Europa and be out of the tournament. So it'll be, at the very least, one thing to avoid a big defeat. But uh, it's never easy when playing their arch enemies and probably their biggest rivals at the moment, SG Findorf. They were the T20 champions last year, Findorf. Also our ECL 19 runners up. So a lot of strong cricket from them. Who we have opening the bowling down there, just trying to take a look, and it is Jivan Bhatti opening the bowling on strikers. Show up one of the star performers of the tournament so far, is third at the moment in the Dream 11 Fantasy Points rankings. And at non strikes in, we have Murasi Kamad. Yeah, Bart starting very strongly there in his first over in the first match. As he comes in now on his first ball, he's pitching in middle and off. There is a big appeal and it's out. LBW first ball. Bart strikes. And that's a huge wicket as you watch the replay here. Swinging into the batsman. That looked pretty plum to me. Middle and leg as clean as you get. Excellent start for SG Findorf and the danger man show up. Returns for a golden duck. Well, well, well. Getting out to bat now is Suleiman Kaka, number 56. His team is spot of early bother. Yes, Kaka won't be expecting to have heading out just at this stage of the match. Only the second ball. As he takes a leg stump guard. Thank you. And Bart looks how he could possibly improve on such a magnificent first delivery. Is anybody's guess. So Jeevan coming in again, a left arm over the wicket, swinging it away from the batsman this time, but a little bit too far, or not. Nope, says it came off his uh, pants, so top ball there. No, that's actually been called a wide now, there's a late call. Oh, no, sorry, was signalled a wide. It was uh, another vicious in-swinging delivery there to the right-hand batsman. This time down the leg side. As Bart comes streaming in again. This is a ball out, pitching outside the off stump. The ball has somehow gone towards backward square leg. It's Farouk Ameri with the ball who keeps it to a single. Just the one run there. Yeah, nice uh, shape there from the opening bowler for Rishi Findorf. Causing all sorts of trouble early on. Jivan coming in again. This one outside of off left by the batsman. Some magnificent early shape there from Bart. High arm action. 
And some very consistent in-swing there. The right-hand batsman will have to be careful with balls outside the off-stump. Yes, excellent start this for the German champions. Former German champions, actually. They uh, lost in the final as he even comes in this time. Oh, pitches on the off-stump there. Beautiful display of control here. That's one run there down to backward point. Uh, rather backward square leg. And Bart just pushing that ball across back towards the leg side of the batsman again. He'll want to bring that just a little bit further to the offside for the in swinging delivery as he comes in again. And this ball is pitching exactly there outside the off stump. A little bit of movement in, played back down the pitch, and there's no run. Yes, KSV look content with just seeing him out for this over. We lost one big wicket early. I'm not sure do we have uh, do we have Samuel in their lineup today? Just going through the team sheet. No, so yeah, not the big. But in again, and this ball's a short, high ball, signalled wide, through to the keeper, no run. Batsman has a swipe at it in vain. He's trying to mix it up a little bit there. We've just gone for another full ball. But yeah, not the deepest batting lineup without having Samiola here. But uh, they still have a few capable batters at the top, as you'd expect. And Jivan Bart now, and this is a ball which is pitching outside the leg stump with the swing, goes all the way down, and it's four runs at backward square. It's well clipped by the batsman there. It's a very short boundary behind, behind the stumps, maybe. 35 metres. So it's always going to race away that one. If you are following us on YouTube, feel free to ask questions in the chat. Hashtag ask Rick. Hashtag ask James. If you want to ask us any questions, we will try to answer them. Unless we don't like your question, then I'll simply ignore it. Sun is breaking through the clouds. It's actually getting quite warm here. I went with the pants hoodie option this morning. I've already had to remove the hoodie. Still got my pants on though. As it looks like Rashad will be bowling the second over. Confirm Rick also stores his pants on. The rain jacket is still in place as Rashad comes into the right-hander. And Mursik is bold. Mursik, clean. Well, not in fact, not clean. Bold. It appeared to bounce off his pad. He really didn't judge that. Didn't get any bat on it. That's gone and bowled him again. A wicket from the first ball of the over. And Mursik, very disappointed with himself there. He is dismissed. Sensational stuff from SG Findorf. Is number seven side judge judge so that heads out to the crease. This is not looking good so far for KSV. Like we said earlier, they want to avoid at the very least a heavy defeat here. To not fall behind SC Europa in the net run rate. And that'd be a huge shock if they um if they're out of their own tournament. Probably say they were the favourites heading into this tournament. They won the Hanover hit out a couple of weeks ago as well. But now they're on the back foot early. Said Sadat just making his final preparations. Rashad looking to strike now with just the second ball. Made a fantastic start here. Just Hobbick, uh, one of our donators yesterday, asking how was the beer that his 99 cents went towards. Very good, thank you. Cold and fresh. Rashad now. Streaming in right arm over the wicket, and this ball is a foolish ball just outside the off stump, played towards short cover, and there's no run.
Going to show it again. And this ball's a just short of a length outside the off stump. Hit down to short cover again. And again, there's no run. Very consistent here is Rashad. Not really taking any time to get right into it. As he comes in again, and this ball is pitching on off and middle. There's a shout for LBW. It was moving a lot through the air. And the umpire seems to suggest this was going down the leg side. This ball was hit reasonably high as well on the upper thigh. And a good decision there in the end. Question in the chat. Who is the best women's all-rounder at the current time? Uh, for me, I'd probably go with Susie Bates. Or is Rush it again, and this is a low ball which keeps very low. It spills through the batsman, spills through the keeper, and they scramble through for. Just waiting on any signal there. It is in, in, indeed a, a buy signaled there. Didn't appear to get any pad on that. The bowler coming in again, and this is a ball pitching outside the off stump again. Not a lot of bounce there. The keeper managed to get something behind it. The batsman nowhere near it, and there's no run. Yes, that one stayed very low there as we come to the end of another good maiden wicket, that one. Maiden wickets in T10 are very rare. What was even rarer last week, we had a five-wicket maiden over. Can you believe it, Rick? Five-wicket maiden. Some things need to be seen to be believed. I saw it, so I believe it. Nope, not Elise Perry. Susie Bates, I've said it. Or German women's team captain Anu. I can never pronounce her last name. Doppel. Thank you, Meta. Maybe just a Kiwi living in Germany and a bit biased for those two names. There's the new bowler, Alexander Knuppmann. Number 25 comes in, and this is a ball just pitching outside the off stump. It's punched back down the ground. There's a misfield at mid-off, and the batsman will pick up two, possibly a third here. It's quite a chase there for number 18 in the field, and they do come back back for a third. Knappman a little away from the stumps with a wild throw, and three runs to the total in the end there. Some sloppy fielding for what should have been a regulation signal, or even single. Yeah, you don't often see threes on this field, so... A little bit sloppy there, but good running. Three runs there to Sadat. He'll be delighted with that little gift. Simply delighted. As Knappman comes bounding in again. This is a ball pitching outside the off stump. There's a very half-hearted shot as they scamper through for what appears to be a leg by. Just patted that one down to square leg. Unable to connect with the loose delivery. Captain in now, and this is a short, wayward ball outside the off stump, signalled wide. Yes, a little bit too wayward that one. Tried pitching in short, sort of, was a little bit off balance as well. Another wide. The number 25, one of the players actually left some of the team shirts on the train last night. So a few of them have uh, makeshift playing shirts. Cutman. This ball's another short ball outside the off stump. It's hammered well and truly over the fence, over the cover boundary. Six runs. New balls, please. That one's into the bush. For these matches, the umpire carries a few balls out there with him, not to waste time searching around for a ball in a T10 match. We just want to get on with it. And this ball by is bold, clean bold, leg stump. He's managed to get through there. What a retort. Knappman, delighted, breaking through there. That is how you come back after being pumped over the boundary for six. Full of ball on the stumps. Put the batsman all out of shape, and he's bold. New batsman heading out to the crease. I'm sure they'll give him a warm welcome. His former SG Findorf player, all-rounder Isra Khan, with his nice, shiny Painterix shoes on. And 
And as I mentioned earlier, a couple of players in this KFC team used to play for Findor. So Israel was one of them who played at ECL 19 last year for SG Findor. This will give him a nice warm welcome. Thank you. Israel Khan taking a leg. A leggish guard. And Knappman will certainly be looking to give him a hostile welcome to this crease as he comes in now. And this ball is a shortish ball down leg side. Wide signalled. Israel Khan breathes a little sigh of relief. What can he do here? Or even what can't he do? As Knappman comes in again. And this ball is a little short again, just short of a length. Pitching around about off and there's no run. Ball hits straight back to the bowler. He's got the tallest row on his back foot there. Useful, uh, useful wrist spinner as well as Estra. He had a good match. He was yesterday, picked up a few wickets. He comes in again, and this is just short of a length as well, outside the off stump. It's plucked down to point. Not picked up cleanly, but there's no run. That brings an end to another good over for SG Findorf. He was at six scored from it, but he immediately responded by bowling the batsman out. It's KSV, three wickets down. Solomon Kaka, 5 of 5, Sarai Khan, yet to get off the mark after his two deliveries he faced. Looking now. Rashad continuing. You can still see a little bit of moisture left on the, peel, the field. Uh, some ominous looking clouds, but at the moment. No rain as Rashad comes in, and this ball is pitching on middle and off. The batsmen play that down to mid-wicket, and they scramble through for a single. Brings Israel back on strike, yet to get off the mark. Two men outside the circle is your fine leg, and your third man as Rashad comes in again to Israel. He's bowled. Oh, he's bowled. And he's bowled him. This great start from Findorf continues. And KSV in real trouble of being knocked out of his tournament early. Which would be a massive embarrassment for them. But uh, Findorf just getting it right here, pitching the ball up. That one you see there, skimming the top of the stumps. Yeah, Kaka just appearing to misread the line there. Trying to play across it and finding himself in all sorts of trouble. And looks like Finn the German is heading up to the middle. Finn Sadragani, a wife of Sharu, a husband of Sharu, the wicketkeeper. Born and bred in Germany up by uh, Husum or towards the border of Denmark. So there's actually a club at the north of Germany, close to the Danish border, but it's controlled by the Danish uh, Cricket Federation. So. Finn was uh, playing a lot of cricket with him in his early years before coming down to KSV. Uh, just looking at some questions. Yes, just I, I didn't forget to do the lines on the pitch, but it was just raining too much for me to want to go out and paint them. Christian asking about Sharu, about her background. Well, you can follow this link I'm just putting into the chat now and you can read a nice little article. Oh, no, you can't. There's too many characters. The, the actual links, too many characters for the chat. If you go to ecn.cricket on the homepage, you can see the articles. Rashad comes again. There's Sadaran Ghani, who plays that one of his first ball in the direction of mid-off. And there's no run. Sadaran Ghani F. Yes, he did indeed, Mark Eddy. This is uh, Sharu's family name. 
As Rashid comes in again, and this ball is pitching outside the off stump. It's chipped in the direction of what would be first or second slip. Makes its way down to the boundary. Cut off there by the deep third man. They'll take one. Sadaran Ghani making sure he's all limbered up and stretched for what we expect will be some powerful hitting. As Rashad comes in again, and this ball is a foolish delivery outside the off stump. It's smacked high in the air over the direction of cover. Long off, and six runs. Six runs indeed. Much needed six runs. Need to build a bit of momentum here. Don't want to make anything that looks like a defendable total. It's another question asking... Why isn't Wadak Hamid Wadak bowling the captain? Yes, he's got a little bit of a niggly injury at the moment, so he's just batting. There's the bowler comes in again, oh, and this ball is pitching on leg stump. It's chipped away down to deep square leg, and they'll pick up one. Oof. My partner just sent me through a picture of the uh, chocolate chip cookie she's baking me. I always like extra chocolate. I think she's done a good job with them. Uh. End of the over. 34 after the four overs. Looks like it'll be Alex continuing from the only end. It's more fun when you play from two ends because you get to name them. It's kind of pointless naming them. Bowlers in now. I think we can refer to it as the pavilion end in any case. Lawton chair end. Scaffolding end. We'll call it uh, Robert's end after the cameraman standing up there on top of the scaffolding. As Knappman comes in, bowling to Kaka, who smokes the ball. He doesn't smoke the ball. He makes contact with the ball to short cover, and there's no run. It didn't quite make the connection that it appeared to sound like. And Kaka will have to try again. Knappman again. This is a ball short outside the off stump. Slashed at. No run. Inside the wide lines there. Um, you know, we wanted to paint the lines last night. It was raining. So I thought we would do it this morning. It was still raining. So we had to delay at the start of, this, or start of the first match. As Knappman comes in. And this ball's pitching on off stump or just outside. It's chipped over. Mid off, picked up by the fielder down on the boundary there at long off, and there's one run. Welcome, my brother, to the chat. Finals day is tomorrow. We'll have the uh, Shield final, will be the last match today, and then tomorrow morning, semi finals, third place final, and the grand final. Knappman in. This ball's short outside the off stump, but really. Is beating everybody there. Bat, wicket, and the keeper. They're going to take one by. He's jagged in off the pitch here, just missing the stump and deceiving the keeper as well. If it hit something, she's moved a lot. Is that Michael Stark? It's not. It's Knappman. He comes in again, and this ball is. At just short of a length, it's slapped beyond the fielder at cover, and four runs into the boundary. Yes, hard and fast by the batsman there, the cover fielder diving away to his right, trying to get a hand on it, but it's just a little bit too quick for him. Mapman. Storing in, it's a very short delivery outside off stump. Patman seeming to have trouble with his footing there. Yep, a little bit too short and signalled wide by the umpire. 
Maybe slipping there on the all-weather pitch. He comes in again, and this is another short ball, this time down the leg side and called wide. Batsman not able to suitably dispatch a wayward delivery there. As Knappman comes in again, and this is a fuller delivery just outside off stuff. It's punched high in the air, and it's going to be a catch at long off. The fielder never in any doubt there. He signals to his teammates. After an excellent catch there on the boundary, that's the end of the over from Knappman. Yes, good catch here by Aziz, the human highlight reel, I like to call him. He doesn't drop many. Took one of the standout catches of the ECL last year in his very first match. You can see that in the highlights reels. Unfortunately, the ECL 20 wasn't able to go ahead this year. You should probably all know why, due to current pandemic. But uh, we're, we're hopeful we'll be back next year if the world situation improves, which I'm, well, I think it shall. So, the Sultan of Swing, or back problems, wasn't sure he was going to be playing today. He has been struggling with his bat, uh, oh, his bat, and his back. And Amaka lead. There's the new bowler coming on. Just rearranging his field, putting man at a deep forward square. Who else do we have outside the circle? You got a long one and a long off, and a deep extra cover. Rukamiri moving more towards the cow corner. Takes him on the pads, maybe drifting down leg. Umpire says no as well. But a good start that one from Amir. Yep, good decision. One. Light the outside of off. Batsman has a slash, can't connect. Then just having a word with the new batsman out in the middle. And it must have worked, whatever he said, as Zoltan smacks that one over square leg boundary. Six runs. See how Khalid adjusts here. Lights that one up even higher. Plenty of time for Sultan to get underneath that one. Doesn't connect with it quite well enough that it'll fill full safe and they'll come back for a second. Once again, hits that one down there, but the man at Cal collects it just for a single. Bringing Finn on strike. Always love that question in chat. Who will win? Team with the most runs at the end of the match will be declared the winner. If it is a t draw, we will have a golden ball. One outside off, he looks to smoke that one through the air but doesn't connect with it at all. Fortunately for him, it beats the edge. And that's the end of the over. Much better over that one for Kumafauda Sportsverein. It's very 
Yeah, the, the cricket uh, department here is very well supported by the Sports the Rhine, so this is Sports Club, non-profit organisation. Just just over three years, they've managed to build a cricket team, become North Northern German champions, build a cricket wicket. Uh, they've got funding to put up these nets around the ground so you don't lose as many balls. And they've got some Terminator robot machine that cuts the grass for them here automatically. It's quite a scary little machine. No, it's not little, it's massive. Like those household auto lawn mowers, but ten times bigger. So it looks like Farouk's coming in and he sprays that one down leg. A little bit away with there was Farouk. They get 100 from this stage. Oh, four overs, 50 runs. That's ah, still possible. You know, one good over can turn it here. So through into Sultan. It's nice lift. He's full of balls. Do get quite a bit of lift off this wicket. Make it quite hard to bat. Brook into Sultan and signal to wide by the umpire. Jay Hoodie says, tell them to mow the lawns themselves and save money. Well, they do save money by not actually having to pay anyone to mow the lawn. The robo mower does it for them. Every night, these programs, we've turned them off at the moment, though, so it doesn't cut up our camera cables, but uh, so Robomo is having a nice little rest in his shed. Fruit puts that one on leg stumps, and Sultan smokes it once again over square leg for six more. Just been abandoned by my co-commentator, Rick. If anyone else wants to come sit in the commentary box, feel free. You don't have to be good at it, as I've been proving all week. He just talks, make up stuff about robo mowers and whatever odd, other oddities you see in European cricket is Farouk. Comes in again to Sultan, full of ball this time. Very full, lot of flight. Oh, and put down by the man at deep cover there. Wow, the skies. Lower ball, that one. If you're wondering what that bottle is behind the stumps, it's a bit of uh, hand sanitizer, disinfectant, part of the COVID-19 protocols here. Ooh, pitches that one in short, the batsman comes down to greet him. Tries to get under it, but does not connect. Two balls remaining in the over. Oh, another wide one there from Farouk. Bestman cross, so signal two wides. Well, given two wides. Question from Just Hobbik: Will ECL come to Slovenia? Uh, good question. I'm not sure. I played in Slovenia a few years ago. I wouldn't mind going there. I really like, actually, quite a big fan of Ljubljana. It was one of my favourite little cities in Europe. I'll have to check the schedule, see if there's anything planned as Farouk comes in this side. Wide outside the off stump, and the batsman will cross again for another extra. So, two more wides there. Colin asking, how does Robomower negotiate the mole who is at the far end? Robomower has an array of weapons and he deals with the moles and their hills. 
as that one's pitched in short no ball signaled by the umpire yeah, I'm not sure we have anything planned for Slovenia at the moment but uh, I'm going to look into that because I'd like to go back to Ljubljana I remember if it was Slovenia or Serbia that I played at where the batsman of one glove scored a century against us as Farouk comes in to Finn. That one's hit high up in the air. Aziz is getting under it. He steadies himself and he takes it. Of course he does. But it was a free hit. So, calm down. And again, full of ball this time. Sit high up in the air. Will that beat the fielder? It does indeed. Four runs straight down the ground. Split it between long on and long off. So we end that over. 66 for five after seven. Three overs remaining. Time to take some predictions on the score. Three overs, I'm going to go with 18 balls, hmm. 90, 95, yeah, that's my guess. Winner gets free hugs. No, no, you can't do that during COVID-19. It's lead. Finn greets this one beautifully. All the way over Cow into the bushes with the snakes and other animals. Nice shot there from Finn. He didn't get to bat to bat. He didn't get the chance to bat too much in the Hanover hit out because Samuel was doing all the batting up the order. Let's see a few more of those from them. Cuts this one on the offside. Should beat the field this time. Nope. No, it doesn't. Picked up. And they just get a single there. Oh, oh what happened there? Not actually, I haven't seen a man canning attempt. We were here a day earlier on the Sunday, and there was a uh, two. Second division teams playing. As Khalid comes in again to Sultan, flights this one up high and just above the eye line of Sultan, the season completely at a big swing, no ding. Yeah, so we, there's two second division teams playing. I think we saw three man cabbed attempts in a T20. It was quite humorous. Darts this one in quicker, great work for you. Fires this one down, the keeper whips off the bows and Sultan has to return, chasing after that one. Probably thought it was going to be flighted again and wanted to beat the ball to the bounce. But quick work from the keeper, sees him returning to the, returning to the bench as the captain, number 99, Isatol Devoltsai, heads out to the middle. Any field changes of notice for Izzy? Uh, just points gone outside the circle now, so I have a deep point as well. moving someone around he's trying to move that point to a backward backward point so Khalid as he Has that one down the ground over the field here at long on six runs. Good start this from Izzy. 
finishes the over with a six, taking the total to 79 for six after the eight overs, two overs remaining. Look to see who we think is going to bowl this. Farouk still has another over, but that last one went for 19. Jivan, the opening bowler, who picked up a wicket off his very first ball. Yes, and it is indeed, Jivan, but first over went for eight runs. The one wicket on the very first ball of the big danger man, Shoab. Sure, plenty of people would have picked Shoab in their Dream 11 fantasy team. He's been one of the top performers of this tournament. 303 fantasy points so far behind the PSV pair of Awal Khan, Safi Nadil Ahmed. Fortunately, though, he got a golden duck and. Well, I'll be hoping for you guys. He performs well off the ball. He has been one of the more economical bowlers of this tournament. So, let's see, that point's come in now. And third man's gone out. That's when he comes down the ground, hits that down to the man at the long off. He'll pick it up. They're coming back for a second. This is going to be tight. Oh, a pickup would have had him out. Jivan couldn't quite collect it. And Izzy returns safely. Finn's the German on strike. Wide outside off. And just beats the fielder there, a third man. He had a hand out, couldn't quite collect it. Four signaled by the umpire. Good work there from Finn. Hundred is indeed on the cars. We can get a few more of those in the sofa. Not even without a few more. 85 that are on at the moment. That's been just surveying the ground. Jivan, left arm over the wicket. Plays that one at the point. A bit of a fumble by the field at point. They're coming back for a second and they should make it. As Samir Khalid, a little bit of a slide and a fumble to pick it up. Slide down there. Did it collect the pads or not? Uh, yeah. Came off the uh, keeper's, uh, batsman's pad there. So not signal, just a nice dot. Fendu this time, cuts it on the offside to that third man again. He's just a bit of ball watching here, doesn't think about the single. Fortunately, he gets on the way eventually. Brings Izzy back on strike. <laughs> Izzy on strike, he is. Get it? That one's played to the man at mid-wicket there. They'll go for a single. They'll get the single. That was a joke by my former co-commentator, Rick. He's just preparing for the next match. Which will once again be SG Findorf playing their final match of a tournament. Gigan. Gigan. Uh, VFB. I'm not sure if they, if they could still get eliminated. I'm no net run rate expert. But 
But yeah, definitely got themselves out of that trouble they were in earlier on. Oh, having Aziz coming on to bowl. Former German under-19 player. Nussman plays his one back at his stumps. Just be a single there. Oh, he was the captain I've been informed by my statistician, Mirdaub, in the stats room behind us. Captain them to their famous victory over the Marleybone Cricket Club in Frankfurt a few years ago. They needed 20, I think it was 21 runs off the last over, and they got it with a ball remaining, thanks to some big hitting from who's now current national team player, Abdul Shakur. Was there that day? I think Meta was there that day as well, weren't you? You were scoring. Oh, and your brother played as Z's comes in. Outside of off. Cut in the air. Four runs. Good innings this one from Finn. 22 runs now off the 15 deliveries. Indeed, well fielded stumps. The Stream 11 stumps made for us by the team at Sticky Wickets. If you need some stumps created for yourself, As he comes down to reach, smokes this one long and straight. It's really on fire now as Finn, six more to his account. Taking that total over, well, up to 100 now. We were questioning earlier if I'd make it, and Finn is just. Acknowledge that they will indeed make 100. Yes, as I was mentioning, stumps made by Sticky Wickets. You find them at stickywickets.co.uk. Design you and wrap you some nice shiny stumps. And again to Finn. What do he do this time? He looks to play that leg side and completely misses it. Tried a bit of innovation there. So a good knock comes to an end for Finn. 28 runs after 16 deliveries. Assad, the new batsman, hitting out there, number three. And then to the innings from Vinzi German. A win here for Ishi Fender for Seedham Leapfrog MTV Stallions. And again, that one's cut down the ground. Long off will come pick it up. He gets off the mark with a single. Yeah, so I'll say it will see them leapfrog SG Findorf uh, MTV Stallions by a net run rate. Win here, KFC probably couldn't overtake. Z's. Actually, no, sorry, KFC could also move up in the second. So, MTV Stallions currently in second place with a net run rate of 0.143 with six points. With these two teams, Findorf and KFC, both on four points. This is, is however, KFC's last group match. Findorf have one more remaining after this. Z's in again to Z. As he moves across to the offside, it's that one high and hard. Into the snake pit. Six valuable runs there for Kumafala Sports for Ryan to finish the innings. So some useful runs there towards the end after not much work from the top order. 
What time will we begin the chase? I should notice, but I should be at uh, 12.25, I believe. In eight minutes we'll start the chase. Yes, so, sorry, just had some admin to do there. So I run you through the batting scorecard. Like we said, the big wicket early on of show up. Golden Duck, it's very unlikely for him. Murasi Kamid, also just a one. Solomon Kaka, 18 runs from 13. A little bit of a knock from him. Sajid Sajat, 9 before being bowled by Alexander Kap Knapman. Mr. Khan fell also to a dark bowl with Rashid Mahmood. Very good innings from... Finn Sadrani, 28 runs from 17 deliveries, as I just get laughed at for butchering that name. Looked to innovate there on the last over and got bold. And Sultan, a few hefty blows from him, 20 off 11. He's as whole at the walk side of captain, 14 valuable runs as well, off 5. As you can see the bowling scorecard up on your screen right now. Jeevan Bart, opening bowler, wicket off his very first ball, two overs, one for 18. Excellent stuff here from Rashad Mahmood. I think he got a wicket on his very first ball as well. Two overs, two for nine. Knapman picked up two wickets also, two overs, two for 18. And Mark Lead, two overs, one for 22. Just a one over for Farika Murray. He was quite expensive, one over for 18. And Aziz, one over, none for 18. As you can see from that Manhattan there, it was a bit of a slow start to the... Innings for SG Findorf, losing those two early wickets. She losing a wicket in each of the first four overs. But a bit of a late revival thanks to some big hitting. As seen in post, a defendable total after we were all thinking maybe they wouldn't even get over 100. But do join us back here in about five minutes time and we will begin the chase.
And welcome back to the Dream 11 European Cricket Series, Gummerfeld. Oh, sorry, my producer is just disturbing me. <laughs> Threw me completely off just then. Thank you, Gummins. We're about to begin the chase of KSV versus SG Findorf. SG Findorf out there in the middle. Opening up the skipper again, Hamid Vardak, and the cool cat, Shuff Cat, with the bandana under his bright green helmet. Interesting fact. The producer here, who's a Latvian, who's doing all the nice uh, switching between cameras here, he's come in from Latvia, but his name is Germans. What are the chances? Anyhow, Sultan will be opening the bowling once again. Hopefully he gets this one on the stumps, or at least gets it fuller and not so short and down leg. It's yes, it is indeed a bit overcast. Clouds coming back in again, but it'll be like this on and off all day. Maybe a bit of rain later on. So win here should see... Actually, either of these teams hit up to second on the points table. The Sultan has been having a bit of trouble with his back lately. He's on a lot of pain on... Day we day, on Tuesday. And then yesterday he was off to the doctors after the match. So Sultan into Hamid. First ball, short one. That's hit down leg side. Just where Hamid loves it. Six runs. Gets his chase underway. The perfect way. Hamid is a very established batsman, accomplished batsman. Can play all around the ground. Plays. Quite a few traditional shots as well, along with the more common crossbat heaves. As Sultan comes in again, this time pitches in the short, played on the ground, past the bowler. But it'll be a single there. Still going for the short ball though. We've seen this pitch to be quite tricky if the batsman uh, bowler pitches it up, hits that fuller length, it really spikes up off the pitch. Keep an eye on the time here as well as uh, KSV have been quite slow in the field in this tournament. As we see them take ages to bowl this next delivery, we we'll have to keep reminding them to speed it up or else I'll get another penalty. That one's hit hard in the air again. That should be six more. This man is in a hurry. Beautiful shot that one from Amid Vardak. Coming off his 42 or so runs in that previous match. Quick fast win here. Could also knock KSV out of the tournament. So that's a bit of extra motivation for them here. Full of ball. That's much better there from Sultan. Squeeze to the offside. A bit of a misfield, but the batsman had already decided against the single. Amazing what can happen if you pitch the ball up a little bit. As Sultan comes in, this one on the time is played up into the air, should fall. Oh, 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 he's done a good job holding on to it. I thought it was just going to slip out of his hands here. As a take by Asad Yan. Gets the danger man, Hamid Vardak, out in the first over after you already got those two sixes. But there we go, Sultan. You pitch the ball up, you collect the wickets, you don't spray him down leg for five wides. And a good recovery this for KSV in the very first over of the match. And Aziz is the new batsman hitting out there. Mr. Aziz, I left my bag on the train, the what's I? Both 
them wearing their bright green ECL 19 helmets. Provided by Kookaburra, partner of the European Cricket League. Sultan this time sprays that one down leg and oh no, there we go, that's those five wides again. Keep a shot, we couldn't quite get to that one. Sultan coming in to cool cat shuff cat shuff cat plays that one down to mid on just be a single and end of the over a bit of a mixed bag for KSV very expensive one 18 runs coming from it they did get a big wicket of Hamid Vardak but yeah, so if we just take a look at who is coming in now. Looks like Mudasik's going to have a bowl. Mudasik Ahmed. Bowling to the Cool Cat. Pushes this one in short, doesn't quite connect. Third man's coming for it and show up, I believe it is down there. Takes the catch. Safe pair of hands. And to the light of the people that picked him in his fantasy team after getting a golden duck, he's just picked you up some extra points here. No real control from Cool Cat, Shuff Cat. A good start to the over for Mittasek. Two wickets down now, Ashley Findorf chasing 108 for the victory. Findorf will still have another match later on today in the next match as Rashad Mahmood is a new batsman heading up there with his nice bright painter X on. Another partner of the European Cricket League. All these teams were kitted out with uh, pads, helmets, free shoes for every player and a playing kit from New Balance. Yep. If you have any questions, feel free to pop into the YouTube chat. Ask. Hashtag ask James. Hashtag ask where's Rick. Oh, I know where Rick is. He's organising the next match between SG Findorf and the FB Fallersleben. This ball comes in this time. Plays that one into the ground. He looks for a single. Lucky that wasn't picked up there by the fielder. Else that would have been a run out. See, we had a outfield still pretty slippery. We had a lot of rain this morning. We had a slight delay to that first match, about 10 minute delay. So we wait for the rain to stop. What a see. And again, this one wide outside off and too wide. The umpire stretching his arms out there. Common sight these last few days. A very good chat from my co-commentator here. This time around the wicket, it's on the stumps, and that's played over mid wicket for six into the bush. New ball, please. Nice to see people in the YouTube chat learning how to behave.
Rashad, he's always had a very hunched over stance as he's on strike here, tucks that one into mid wicket. Said picks it up and no run there. I've been watching him play for a few years when I used to work for German Cricket TV filming the DCB Super Series and always. Oh, here we go. the hunch, the hunch bat of Eschiefendorf. Here's into the hunch bat of Eschiefendorf. Plays this one square of the wicket between the fielders there. That'll be four more. The run's still flowing. Despite the loss of two wickets. Paul Bromley asking, why do they use artificial instead of grass wickets? As Brzeg comes in again to the hunch bat of Findorf. Signal to wide. Yeah, just ground facility. I mean, there's, there's no curators for cricket wickets in Germany. It takes a lot of work, a lot of money to look after a nice grass wicket. There used to be a few when there was the British military bases here, but unfortunately they sort of disappeared once the British left. That one's outside of off. Much better position there. Hunchbat can't connect. And brings the end of a never quite expensive over. He didn't pick up that wicket, but got hit for a few boundaries there. Yeah. Good morning to former Flugfelden member now, Frankfurt Furies Kartika. Talking to Julia last night, I believe. As Meta pumps her hands in the air, I believe uh, there's no longer a cricket, women's cricket team in Flugfelden. Maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong. So aside. Into his ease, as he tries to cut it, the ball goes under his bat. No run there. Valuable dot. Slightly slow ball played down to the man at mid-wicket side. Throws it a non-striker in, and Aziz comes through for a single. Just having a bit of a change of the field here. What is he asking for? He wants his backward square to move close towards the umpire. There's only a small gap between that. Sort of backward square and deep forward square. Oh, that's a loose. Oh, beats both the keeper and the fielder there. That was a the old slippery one. She's saying the outfield is still quite wet out there in that rain we had earlier today. But these extras have been very damaging for KSV in this tournament. If they were to get knocked out, that would be why. That one's on his pad. That looked pretty good to me. And he's been given. Well, he's not been given. Oh, he has been given motion out there but yes he has been given it looked stayed low that ball hits him on the lower thigh and a good decision by the umpire as the hunchback of hunchback of Ishi Findorf has to return didn't really get his innings under the way did Rashad Mahmood just 10 runs from six deliveries so the runs are still coming but so are the wickets as Amar Khalid 
Very useful bat he is. Heads out to the middle for more traditional SG Findorf helmet on. He didn't lose his shirt on the train, so he doesn't have a taped on number. Oh, good to hear that Flugfarden still does have a team. Thank you, Kataka. Oh, gosh, it's another loose one. So, wide signal by the umpire. You don't need a signal to buy when it's wide. Just goes down as wides. Two wides in this case. Z is a human highlight reel on strike. It's good arsenal of shots in his bet. Oh, come on. Another very loose one there. Gonna make sure they're keeping up the over right here as well. Oh, Bowler just pulls out of his action there, getting a bit of a yips. I believe there was once a few bowler, one bowler had his career ruined by the yips. There's some final you can find, read about it. Bowled something like 20 wides and over and never could play again. Much better ball this time, pitched up outside of off. Aziz has a hard swing and does not connect. Looks like Rick has found his way back to the commentary box. Welcome back, Rick. Yeah, struggling to find his line here. Although seemingly back on track. Rick was out there doing some admin work as the bowler comes running in again. And that's another wide one. Very, very wide of the off stump. You can see the anguish in this young man's face. You can see the anguish on my face if the camera was on me. Need to get this bowling sorted. So, aside, this is a third wide, a fourth wide of the over. Picked up a wicket as well. Needs to get that line in length. This side comes in. This is another wild ball outside the off stump. Just the one wide there. No ball signaled by the umpire this time. Just to mix it up a little bit. And we'll see a free hit. So, free hit here coming for Aziz. Human highlight reel of the Wadzai. I haven't seen too many highlights from him actually lately. As a run out attempt at the bowler's Jeez. end. That's a little bit embarrassing when you're bowling that poorly, just get the ball down the wicket. I mean, even then, I, I, not, I can't remember the man cad rules, but you're supposed to, you should have had let the ball go at that point of the delivery. Oh, maybe he shouldn't let the ball go. Maybe he should fake an injury here. This is getting hard to watch. That would kill. Going to need to pull himself together here. Focus on that off stump line, which he has a, been able to achieve. And maybe just having... A few mental difficulties here as he comes in again, and this ball is within the, the lines. It's outside the off stump. It's cut, 
and sliced over third man for four. Four runs there. Oh, at least it was a legal delivery is all I can say. And just in case any of our viewers are wondering, a no ball, of course, taking priority over a wide. In the event that a no ball and what would be or would, would have been a wide is called at the same time. So, last ball of the over, touch wood. The wood girl comes in, and this is another uh, wide ball. I jinxed it. Very wide outside the off stump there. Of course, the major differences being that a uh, no ball is often more heavily penalised than a wide, and that a batsman can, in fact, be stumped off a wide, but not off a no ball. Yes, indeed. Batsmen are probably falling asleep out there, realising the ball's not coming anywhere near them at the moment. This time... Uh, massive case of the yips here for the bowler. This is hard to watch. You can do it, you can do it. This is positive encouragement there from his team, cheering us hard on. Sure he can get through this delivery. As the side comes in for the last ball of the over. So the 50 coming up for Ishii Findorf. Must have been about 49 of them from that over and extras. One ball remaining in this over still. Just let's give them some support here. It can't be easy when you're bowling wide after wide. Let's do this aside. There we go. Nice flight of delivery down the field. And just a single there. I've seen it happen a lot before when you get into a bad streak of wides. Sure. He just needs a little bit of support now. Can we just make sure that they're keeping up the over as well? Right, so finally made it to the end of that over. It was just as painful for me as it was for you. But new bowler coming in looks like Mudasik. Right arm over the wicket. That one's pushed down to the man, a third man. They'll come through just for a single. Brings disease on strike. Current run rate just 7.8 and over. One keeps low. He can't quite get to it. He hasn't really been uh, getting much bet on ball in this inning so far. That's just five runs from six deliveries. 
Mark lead at the other end, two runs from two. Oh, just jumps over the leg stump there. Oh, okay, maybe wide of the leg stump. Oh, yeah, okay. Wide signaled by the umpire. Uh, yeah, I think the bowler's arguing the same case as me. I don't know, but he needs to get on with it because they are behind the over right here. This one will once again be signaled a wide. This umpire's gonna finish the match with massive biceps. Or is it triceps from using those arms? I think that's your triceps that lifts lifts those ones up. Just confirmed it is your triceps. So he's gets an edge. Oh! Parried away by Sharu. And unfortunately, down to the fence for four. It was high and up to her right. She's got to hold on to those chances. I mean, nothing else is going well for your team. It would have been a real boost for them if they'd got that one. At this point, I'm not too sure if KSV deserves to be in the semi final. Ball comes in again, now side of oh, off, push to the man in gully. Chance at a run at the non strikers end. Oh! Nothing is going their way right now. Looks like there's an uh, appeal for obstruction from the KSV keeper. Let's have a look at this one again. Not the best calling. No, it is no obstruction there at all. He'd already thrown the ball by the time the batsman had got to him. That one's driven up in the air. Lands safely though at mid on. Will just be a single there. Oh, running in again. One stays low, that sort of inconsistent bounce from the fuller deliveries, one by a signal by the umpire. So it's a right arm over, flights that one up outside of off. Former SG Findorf player. That one just squeezed down to third man just for a single. Current run rate 16.17 and over. Only requires 7.5 from here on out. 
That's it, one on to the offside. Goes down to the man, that's a long off. For another single. No! Dot ball there, valuable dot ball for from without a sport for Ryan. Sports. Pulls that one on the leg side. Beats the gap, or does it not? No, sorry, the field was hidden behind the corner here. Just another single, good over so far, this one from Isra. That one's on the leg side, signalled by, by the umpire. Huh? Don't know if you can. Oh, it's off the keeper's leg, that one. Yes, Bize was the right decision. As Israel comes again, that one's hit high up in the air. This time, on to the production studio. Six runs. I'm sure little Germans in there probably just had, had a little squeal. Sensitive man is Germans. So a good finish that over for Findorf. Is they just ticking along now? Okay, so he needs some wickets here. Roughly seven of them. Is he the captain? Brings himself on. Full slower ball outside of us. Nice delivery, but well played by the batsman. And races down to man at a long off. Picks it up, and they'll come back for a second. Again, nice delivery just inside the channel there. So, Z, and again, this one's on the stump, sit up in the air. Sure, I bet. Third man running into it, doesn't get there in time though. And they cross for a single. Z, two Aziz. Aziz just not really timing it at the moment. I think he's probably just better off pushing it around for ones and twos. A top ball. Whoa, it's just, real out of shape, it does these. He run through. They're running through for a bye, signaled by the umpire. Last ball? Not so much harmony out there in the field between all the KSV players, a bit of arguing amongst themselves. It's easy this time, full of delivery. Cut past the man at uh, Gully there. Oh, good diving stop from Shoab on the boundary. Saves the four. Investment come back for a second. Two runs to America lead. So Isra and again he had a good first up over. Played down to the man that 
deep mid wicket, just single to uh, Aziz. This one outside off, Besson meets it, greets it, smokes it over. Deep extra cover, six runs to Amir. This one's hit high up in there, that's going to clear long off. Another six, back to back sixes for Amir Khalid. He wants to get this done in a hurry now. Score moves to 92. Just 16 runs away from victory, if my maths is correct. Often isn't. My score just gave me a thumbs up telling me my maths is correct. It's like getting a golden star back in school. This one. America lead is taking to the former SG Findorf player, saying, go back to where you came from. Three sixes in a row. And he wants to get this done and this over. Can he make it four from four? Why is that one a bit harder? I'm not sure if that was an edge or not, but it was on to the keeper's head. No, I don't think it was. See, it spiked up pretty fast off the pitch there. We lost ball of the over. Once again, an effort ball, but this one's... He's Cramp for room, but still got over square leg boundary. Four sixes in the over, that one. Khalid quite happy to dish it out to his former teammate. These two battled together at ECL 19, but not anymore. So, we're getting very close to the victory here. But we'll see Findorf move to second in the points table. Trying to have a look who could be potential man of the match here. Good knock from Amir Khalid. Rashad Mahmoud, Rashad Mahmoud though was did pretty well off the ball. Two overs, two for nine. That one's driven on to the offside. Will just be a single. Getting Khalid back on strike. That one's once again cut the offside. Should just be a single. No need for any un unnecessary runs here. I'm not a mathematician, so I won't be able to work out the net run rate for you. But I'd say KSV are possibly safe as they just need one run here to win. But yeah, we'll have to wait to see we, until we see the standings table to find out if KSV have qualified or not as he comes in. And hits him high on the pad. They run through. I think that one came off the bat or was it? Yep. Leg by signal by the umpire. Scores are level, or is that match? No, scores are level. Can't actually see the graphics where I am sitting. That's the match. Yeah, oh, jeez. Yeah, that was the match. I was worried, not about myself, just my uh, fellow scorers on this table. So four runs. Bike lead to bring up the victory, a crushing victory for KSV. Once again, just their wayward bowling, really letting them down. 111 for three, after 7.4 balls. They'll move into second place on the standings. Sorry, SG Findorf winning, not KSV, silly me. 
Man of the match. Oh, what do you reckon, Mitter? I'm a lead, 38 off 16. Yeah. Well, I'd say, yeah, maybe Rashad Mahmood setting the tone early. Two overs, one for nine, including that, uh, or two for nine, sorry, including that maiden wicket. Very rare to see the maiden wicket in this format. So he's the pick for me. Just looking at the uh, betting scorecard here. Findorf, 12 runs from the captain before he left after five deliveries. Shafkat, the cool cat, not so cool today. Just a one from two. Aziz the Wadzai, he was a little slow, but in the end it didn't really matter. 20 off 18. Rashad Mahmood, 10 from six, and some brutal batting there from Amar Khalid. 38 off 16, including four sixes in a row from his, or in one over from his former teammate. Really sticking it to him. Yeah, we see there though, the extras, 30 extras again, 25 wides, that one brutal over. Did not help as we move on to the bowling scorecard. Not much to write home about here. Sultan of back problems, one over one for 18. Mudasik Ahmed, two overs, one for 21. Saad John to Woodkill, that very painful over we witnessed. One over one for 23. Plenty of extras in that one. Isra Khan, his first over was very good. His second over went for about 26. Two overs and none for 34. And the captain, Izzy, couldn't do it on his own. 1.4 overs, none for 11. So a crushing blow for KSV as we look at the Manhattan there. Always above the run rate. Only lost to three wickets, so... Yeah, just not too many positives out of that match for KFC. But we will be back again in 55 minutes' time for the final group match today. That is SG Findorf up against the FB Fellas Lieben. Um. Uh, well, Findorf, a big win for Findorf. Could actually see them leap up to the top of a points table, which we'll have to get an update on that points table to see if it is KSV or SC Europa. But uh, do join us in about 55 minutes for that matchup. And I will see you then. Goodbye.
So it's a bit of a rainy welcome back here to our viewers at the Dream 11 European Cricket Series, Kummerfeld. The game is scheduled to start in just a moment. SG Findorf versus VFB Fallersleben. Just in the last two minutes or so, we've seen some much heavier rain come down, as you can see there on your screen. And it's looking very likely that we will have to make a slightly desired... Uh, Slightly delayed start here. Players just making the necessary arrangements. We'll keep you updated as to how this progresses. We're we'll be looking to start as soon as this eases off. Players bringing players off the field. Starting to ease up already. Maybe we will be fortunate enough to return to the field of play a little sooner than anticipated. The umpire is deciding that uh, that brief burst was as temporary as it seemed to our viewers here at home. And players will make their way back onto the field immediately. VFB, Fellows Leben winning the toss here. Captain Shivara Yan electing to bat in what has now become a slightly drizzly, slightly windy day here in the north of Germany. And opening the bowling here for SG Findorf is Jevan Bart, who did have 
Success in the opening games in bowling that critical first over of these yeah, T10 man. matches. And so the batsmen making their way out into the field of play. We have Sandeep Vasis on strike, rather non-striker, with Saran Kanan, who will be facing the first ball here. I was just making the final preparations. With Saran taking guard, and we are just about underway here. Only a slight delay due to that slight rain. Ivan Bart. Ready to begin this innings for the bowling side. SG Findorf as he comes into bowl left arm over the wicket. It's just outside the off stump. The batsman chops at it. Keeper fumbles, but there's no run. Saran Kanan. Are you wanting to? moment here to assess the newly greasy conditions as Bart comes in again and this ball is pitching just about leg side leg stump the ball spills down to third man they'll pick up one leg by Sandeep Fassis now taking guard and looking to face his first ball of the innings. As this ball is a fuller delivery just outside the off stump, chopped up the point, and there's no run. A little bit more drizzle appearing here. Some ominous signs, but. With breakages of sunshine threatening to break out from behind the clouds. Start in again, and this ball is a ball pitching just outside the leg side. It's padded away, think about a leg by, but sent back by Saran. No run. Start here by Jivan, despite what must be a slippery ball. As he comes in again, this is a lofty ball outside the off stump. It's chopped in the air to cover, fielded cleanly. A few murmurs of excitement in the crowd, but it was just a bump ball. The rain really starting to come down here now. Jivan again, and this is a widish ball outside the off stump. There's a big slash at it, goes through to the keeper, there's no run. And that'll be the end of the over. 
Just a one leg by from that. The maiden over, according to the scorers. And very good over there by Jivan Bart. Umpires just considering how strong this rain really is as Nile Perfect. At just 13 years old, unfortunately, or indeed, no, he will be continuing. He is marking out his run up. Nile Perfect, originally from Southampton in the United Kingdom, who's been living in North Germany for around about 12 months, representing SG Findorf here. This is, in fact, the youngest bowler to ever appear in a European Cricket Network match. As he comes in now, perfect. Left arm over the wicket. And this is a reasonable ball, just pitching outside the leg stump. They pat it away, and they'll take one leg by. Nile not letting this precipitation bother him. He starts off with a very good length ball. Just wanting to drag his line across the front of the stumps as he comes in again. And this ball is outside the off stump. It's crunched in the air over cover for four. Maybe just adjusting a little bit too far there, the young fellow. Comes thundering again, left arm over the wicket, and this ball's pitching on middle stump. It's hit back down the pitch, and there's no run. Perfect. Just getting the ball there for a bit of work by his captain. He's taken the young man under his wing, for whom we see a very bright future in German cricket as he bounds in again and this delivery is just outside the off stump cut down to point they scramble for a single there's a fumble and they'll make it comfortably good backing up there by Saran he may have been in a little bit of trouble if uh, point fieldsman managed to pick it up cleanly he didn't perfect in again, and this ball is pitching outside the line of leg stump. There's a big swipe at the ball. The non-striker comes down, thinks of a leg by. And it is a no-ball signal, and there'll be a free hit. You can only assume that was a front foot no-ball. Young man maybe just overstepping there. At 13 years old, as he bounds in again. And this delivery is outside the leg side again. The batsman doesn't get it away cleanly. He snicks it down to a backward square leg and they'll take one. Again, seeing some real difficulties in the field there. Fielders seemingly having difficulty here with the slippery conditions, picking up the ball cleanly. As Perfect comes in again, this ball's outside the off stump. A little bit of room, it's hit high in the air. It's six runs over long on. And also called a no ball. Amir Khalid, just a few words of encouragement there. Most likely offering the young man his advice. Slow it down, get the run up right, take a breath. And continue. Which he does coming in now, and this delivery is pitching just outside the off stump. It came careering back into the stumps at the non-striker's end. There's no run. That's the end of the over. 
16 for the loss of no wickets, VFB Fallersleben from the two, row, two overs. And it looks like Lindorf will be saving Jivan Bart's second over. Third over here to be bowled by Hamad Khan. Causing the score a little bit of confusion here with a borrowing Luckman's shirt. It's Hamad Khan in the bowl, right arm over the wickets. It's a short ball first up outside the off stump. Saran swipes at it, tries to pull. Doesn't connect, no run. Ahmad Khan. Thunders in the end from around, uh, over the wicket, and it's just edge. A very wide ball outside the off stump. The keeper fumbled it. And there's one run there. Positive signs here in Kummerfeld with the rain appearing to ease up once again. As Khan comes in, and this ball's also wide outside the off stump. Another slash at it. This has been called wide. Ahmad Khan will be looking to drag that line back toward the stumps with his natural away swing. As he comes in, and this ball is exactly that. It's towed out there to point the non-striker took off early. There's a throw to the, no, to the non-striker's end. Misses. Well backed up there by Amir Khalid. They'll get one. Saran to take strike now. He's one from five deliveries. Can't in again. This ball's short and on the middle stump, but hooked away for six runs. That was a short ball, pitching middle and leg. There was no slipping with this. It came up to a very agreeable height. And Saran dispatched that over deep square leg. As Khan comes in again, and this is another short ball hit high in the air. Six runs, two sixes in two balls, two short balls. Just where Saran Kanan likes it. Pitching middle, angling middle and leg, and hoik. It's another six there. Ahmad Khan wondering how an over that started off well has come to this. Khan in again and this is another short ball down leg side. This one doesn't bounce as much. It is a wide. And Khan really struggling with not only his line but his length as well. He can't afford to bowl those short balls to Saran Khanan. Comes in again, and this ball is shortish again, just short of a length outside the off stump. It's chopped down to cover, and there's no run. End of the over. Three overs bowled here. 31. The score from VFB Fallaslim. And there's been another change of bowling here. This is going to be Jiraraj Manaharan. Oh, 
Looking like an early change of pace here. Try to stem this. Good flow of runs early on by VFB as he comes in over the wicket from the right hander and it's been paddled over the batsman's shoulder. They'll take one down to deep square leg. Deep fine leg, backward square leg. Shiradaj Manharan. in the bowl again and this is a ball pitching just outside the off time it's hit high in the air there is long on fielding coming in yeah, he's unable to get to the ball and they'll take one run Sandeep Fasith gets a ball just outside the off stump he swipes and misses it's Keeper takes off the bales in a stumping attempt, which is declined. Sandeep evidently trying to hit well across the line there. Missed the ball by a considerable amount, although he did get back in his crease in time. Sun coming out here in Kummerfeld. Positive signs for the remainder of the afternoon in your cricketing enjoyment. It's Manaharan again, who bowls outside the, the off stump. It's a little bit short of a length. It's prodded down to cover. The cover fields and fumbles it. They think of a second, but decline, and that's one run. Bowler comes in again, and this is a loopy ball outside the off stump. It's chopped in the air, high behind point, racing away to the boundary. Excellent feeling there by Knappman, who managed to knock it back in, and they'll just get the two. Saran. Manaharan takes a bit of a stop in his step there as the ball's hit high in the air. There's a fielder under it and it's out. Caught at longish off, running in. An excellent catch there with the sun in his eyes. As is Davadri, the fielder there at long on. Even on. And that is the end of Saran Kanan. End of the over two. And that is now 37 for the loss of one wicket. And the new batsman, Janadan Sidayaha, number 25. Evidently the batsman crossing there during that catch. And with a new over, to be bowled here by Amar Khalid. Khalid coming into bowl, and this is a pitched ball pitch just outside the off stump. It uh, beats the batsman, keeper knocks it down, and there's no run. Collins in again, and this ball is shortish, fading away down leg side. It's called a wide. And the bowler comes in again. This is short, it stays low, but the pull shot is adjusted enough to get some batter on it. It goes to square leg. Young Nile perfect there. And they pick up a single. Amar in again, and this is short dish, pitching on middle and off. It's just clipped down to deep mid wicket, and they'll get one run. And 
as this next ball is short and pitched just outside the off stump. It's hooked away. It's six runs into the net. The ball not quite bouncing up as high as the batsman would have expected. He was able to adjust, get enough bat on it, and six runs to his total. I'm uh, regrouping. This is a ball just outside the off stump. It's chipped at. The keeper mops it up and there's no run. Jonathan Sidahai looking to capitalise now as this ball is short. It's just outside the off stump. It's delicately played all the way down to the fence behind slip. Four runs. The fly slip third fielder, third man, unable to stop that. And that's the end of the over. Uh, five overs bowled a round 50 for the loss of just one wicket here. And you would think that VFB Fallersleben have a very comfortable chase or even chance here of reaching 100, possibly 120. Wickets in hand and an excellent start. New bowler, Faru Kamari for SG Findorf. He'll be coming in right arm over the wicket and this ball is just outside the off stump. It's chipped down to third man. They should get a single. Talk of a second. Declined. And just the one run. Baru Kamiri. Bring that ball just a little back closer to the off stump as he comes in now. And this ball is pitching just on off stump. There's a half shout for LBW. The ball spills off for four runs, four leg buys. It was indeed four leg buys. Starts, stops, reconsiders, waits for Sidehe. And this ball is short outside the Ostam, hit high in the air. There's a chance for the leg side fielders to snap it up. They don't. It's the tango combination of Knappman and Perfect who get the ball back in. And they take two. Very high ball there, fortunate. that the young 13-year-old male perfect was unable to get under that as Amiri comes in and this is a shortish delivery outside the off stump it really doesn't bounce at all goes for the keeper this is four buys a real skid of that ball confused the batsman just missed the off stump confused the keeper and that's another valuable four to the Fathers Leben total. Sundries performing particularly well in this match already. As Amiri comes in, and this ball is short, just out to the off stump. He carves it down to the man at the third man. They'll get one. And only one. Some excellent fielding there, and a good arm by Alexander Knappmann. And that's the end of the over. Sixty-three for one the score. Come on, get it. With the new bowler. In fact, continuing here is Ziraj Manaharan. An 
Mahram continuing with his <coughs> right arm over the wicket. As he comes in now, and this ball is outside the off stump. There's a slash at it, goes straight through to the keeper. There's no run. Seeing some generally good bounce here on this pitch today with the occasional skitter. As Manaharan comes in again, this is the flighty ball pitching on off stump. It's dispatched, but the man at deep forward square leg ensures that that is just a single. Jeriraj. Again, and this is the ball outside the off stump. It's spanked over cover. Although, doesn't quite get enough on it. There'll just be the single there. The sweeper coming round. Quite a lot of effort there going into keeping this ball dry. It is slippery out there. As this ball is pitching just outside the off stump, it's just chipped in the direction of square leg. Deep square leg comes in and ensures that that's just one run. Manaharan. This ball is outside the off stump. It's chipped all the way in the air to deep mid wicket. That's four runs. Minute deep backward and deep forward square leg. And that long on, but nobody in that deep mid wicket position. Next ball is just outside the off stump. It's hit exactly in the same spot again. The square leg fielder comes round, just stops it with his foot there. And there's two runs taken. Excellent fielding there from the man coming all the way round from forward square leg. End of the over. Seven bold. And 71 runs for VFB Fallersleben. Amar Khalid bowled his second over. And he comes in now, and this ball is shortish. It's been spanked well and truly over the head of any forward square leg fielder. Six runs and another headache for the ground officials in locating that ball. Amar back in again. And this is a lofty ball outside the off stump. It's hit straight down the ground. And that's another six. A wonderful crowd catch down there. And two sixes in two balls. Amar Khalid wondering how he can stem this flow. Comes in again, and this ball's outside the off stump. It's chipped delicately behind point, running away to the boundary. And that's four runs, 6-6-4. Six, six, A very valuable over here. Janadhan Siddharthai making mincemeat of the poor Amar Khalid. We're wondering if the captain will be regretting offering him a second over as he comes in again and this ball is smacked straight back down the ground it's fielded safely there by the fielder at long on they'll just get one Sandeep Vasith now who in just an instant had his total overtaken by Janadhan as Armand comes again it's a wide ball outside off stump it's spanked over cover racing away towards the boundary the man at long off will come around and pick it up 
And there are two runs. Really dangerous partnership building here. 23 and 33. As Aman comes in, this ball short outside the off stump. It hits high in the air towards the direction of deep mid wicket. It plugs like a golf ball. The field is right onto it, a reasonable throw in, and there's just two runs. End of quite an expensive over there by Amar Khalid and his captain, maybe. Somewhat relieved, that is the end of his allotment. It's 92 for one here, off eight overs. And it's going to be a return of the opening bowler, Jivan Bhatt. Janathan Sadehai, 33. Sandeep Fasith on 27. And really in a powerful position here to make these two final overs theirs. And Janathan on strike as this ball is outside the off stump. He cuts at it, misses through the keeper, but wide called. Left-handed Javid Bud angling away from the right-hander, just overcooking it there. As he comes in from over the wicket, and there's a huge agricultural slog. Comprehensively missed. Passes outside the off stump. And there's no run. Plenty of encouragement there from the boundary line. If or VFB fellows Leben team. As Bart's in again, the batsman comes down, the crease is hit high in the air, there's a fielder under it. It is taken. Magnificent catch, unfortunately. Beyond the boundary rope, Hamad Khan there taking what appeared to be a wonderful one-arm catch. Unfortunately just treading over the boundary line as he did so. And six runs. But again, this ball is pitching on off and middle. The ball's gone high in the air over cow corner. That's another six. Yvad Bart. A real look of exasperation there on his face. One six just caught over the boundary rope. And the second ball picked right out of the slot and into the neighbouring field. As Bart comes in again, and this ball's outside the off stump. It's another ball in the slot. It's another ball in the field. It's six runs. That's 50 there. 50 already for Janadan today. He salutes his adoring crowd. And we'll be looking to finish off his job here. To bring VFB, hopefully, what will be for them an unsurmountable target. Wide dot six 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 this over as Bart comes in again. It's another ball down the shot. This ball is not going to make six. It's just over the head of mid wicket. The batsman come back for the second. And two is all they'll get. Shanadan retaining the strike. He's raced away now from with his 53 off 21 deliveries. As Bart tries again, and this ball is shortish. It's not middled. It's hit in the direction of mid wicket. Deep mid wicket comes in and keeps this to a single. That's the end of the spell for Jivan Bhatt. He'll be a little disappointed with the way that second over went. 
VFB Fallas Leben, 114 for the loss of just one wicket off the nine overs so far. Aziz Ullah Davodzi to bowl the tenth and final over of this innings. And Janadan retaining the strike here. As this ball is a full toss, which is dips outside, just outside the line of off stump. It's played down to square leg for one run. Giving the opportunity now for Sandeep Vasith to see if he can also become a half century maker. As the bowler comes in, it's a full ball outside the off stump. It's hit on the full. Not hit cleanly, they'll just get a single down to deep long on. As is. Bowls this ball outside the off stump. It's chopped along the ground, bouncing up in the direction of the bowler. There's one run. Sandeep Fasith has three balls now. He's on 28. As Aziz comes in, and this is a wide ball outside the off stump. Plays it at anyway. High in the air. There's a fielder running for it. He doesn't quite get it there at mid-wicket. They take one. Think about a second. Side against it. And Sandip takes his total to 29. Janadan. As the Woodsy comes in, he walks across the crease. It's hit high in the air in the direction of six. Careering into the tower. It's a six over the bowler's head. And VFB follows Leben with just one ball to play. Already 124. Zazi Davotsi just trying to get his field right for this last ball. And Adan said, 62 off 25. As Davotsi coming in, and this is a shortish ball. Bold! He did what he was supposed to do there, Janadan Sidai. He does, however, leave this innings dismissed now. He's out for 62. Bold, trying to make the most of the last ball there. He salutes his crowd, who thank him for such an entertaining innings. 124 for the loss of two wickets, VFB, Fallersleben. The batting card, Saran Kanan was caught by Aziz Dawodzi, with Manaharan getting that wicket, 17 runs from 13 balls. Sandeep Fatih finished not out on 29 from his 22 deliveries faced, including 1-6. But the man of this innings was none other than Jadadan Sidahe. He was bowled right at the last ball there by Azaz Davodzi with 62 runs, 26 balls, including four fours, rather two fours, and seven sixes. To the bowling card, Jivan Bart started well in his first over. A maiden, in fact. He ended up with two overs for 22 without taking a wicket there. Nailed perfect one over. He conceded 14 runs. Hamad Khan, one over for 16. Jiradaj Manharan, two overs. 14 runs and one wicket. Two overs, 34 runs for Amar Khalid. Really copying a few sixes there. Farah Komiri with a very economical one over with four runs conceded. Didn't pick up a wicket. 
And as is Dawoodsy bowling that last over, picking up one wicket for 10. We're just going to take 10, 15 minute break. And we'll be back then to see the SG Findorf EV innings if they can chase down the total T10 cricket, 125 the target. And we will look forward to your company then.
We're back on here. It's the SG Findorf Cricket Club here. Looking to chase down the VFB Fallersleben total of 124 off their allotted 10 overs. And just like the first innings, we've seen an unfortunate resurgence of rain. VFB Fallersleben out in the field. Wondering if they might have to duck back into the pavilions or we can get started as scheduled. The SG Findorf batsman also ready to get out there. Umpires just making a few final discussions here as to whether we can begin. Captain there, Sivarajan, summoning his players and dispatching them to their respective fielding positions as Hamid Vadak and Shafkad Mahmoud Ashraf make their way out to the centre. Vadak to take strike. The German international cricketer. We'll be facing the first ball here against Satish Kumar Mutalia. And it looks like we will be getting underway at 2.55 as scheduled. Just a few seconds now. A few final fielding adjustments. And play just about to resume. Hamid Vardak will be Hoping these slippery conditions offer him a few shorter deliveries. The ones he likes there on his legs. Uh, Satish comes in and this ball is outside the off stump. It just clears the top of leg stump. Pitching just outside off. Angling into the left arm batsman. Uncharacteristic there from Vardak. He usually takes a ball or two to see himself in and was very, very lucky there that that ball went over the stump. Says this ball, he comes down the wicket and hits the ball in the full. It's six runs. Not making the mistake this time, allowing the ball to pitch. Vardak making his way down the wicket. And a few words of encouragement there from Shafkat. Vardak opens his account with a six. Mutiala. Comes in again, right arm round the wicket. And this ball is pitching just outside the off stump. It's hoiked across and into the fence. Four runs at deep mid wicket. He didn't get all of that. Hamid Vardak. But he did get enough of it to get the boundary. Swiping across the line there. As the rain is... Now coming down really quite heavily. Umpires have brought the players off the field. And we will see what we hope to be just a short delay. Rain really starting to come down heavily now. Good start in any case to SG Findorf, although Vardak was lucky there. The very first ball to avoid being bowled. Would have been a very valuable wicket there for Mutiala. And indeed the VFB Fallersleben team.
So as our viewers can probably see here at Kummerfeld, the rain really starting to come down heavy. And this is raising doubts as to whether we will be able to see the SG Findorf chase either in its entirety or under the shortened Duckworth Lewis target system.
So, uh, unfortunately to our viewers, as you can see on your screen there, the rain really coming down heavily now. And some serious puddles of water forming on the ground here. There's still some optimism here with the local crowd that this rainstorm may pass. Uh, the situation for our viewers and our players, of course, is that in seven minutes' time, as of 3.15 p.m. local time, overs will begin to be reduced. And if this rain has not subsided by 15.33 or 3.33 p.m., unfortunately, this match will not be able to continue in even a shortened form. However, we are staying positive here. Weather patterns have been known. To certainly chop and change quickly here in northern Germany. Conditions will be very difficult for, particularly for the fielding team in VFB Fallersleben. The slippery ball and slippery fielding conditions. It's going to be unpleasant for all concerned. However, we will of course keep you updated as we hope for a change in weather.
So as our viewers out there can see, it is still heavily, or even heavily raining. Uh, 3.15 now, meaning that any start from now will incur a reduced over amount for the VFB Fallersleben team to bowl. As mentioned, we now have a window until 3.33 local time. It being 3.15 right now. Uh, for which we require this rain to stop. And unfortunately, beyond 3.33, this will result in full abandonment of this match. We'll keep you updated as uh, our progression through this rainstorm continues. And hope to be underway before 3.33.
So some good news for viewers out there. It looks as if umpires have decided the rain has subsided sufficiently. Uh, we will be playing a reduced over match. The exact details of that still to be confirmed. It current estimate this may well be a seven over run chase. Of course, three balls have already been bowled in this innings. Although there are some concerns out there by the bowling team of just how wet this is going to be. Um. And we're just awaiting official confirmation, but at this stage... The initial calculation is that with one wicket, or rather with no wickets uh, lost here, the revised seven over target would be in the vicinity of 92. That not fully confirmed, but will be shortly here by our match officials. As Tomar takes an attempt on what is now a slippery bowling run-up. Bowlers having to take care there. Ensuring that their footwear is suitable. Power play will be reduced as well to just the two overs. Three balls remaining in this opening over. Batsmen now making their way out to the centre. The rain has all but fully stopped. Good news for fans and good news for cricket. Satish Mutiala to continue his over. Hamid Vardak continuing the strike. We'll be looking here at quite possibly a 3.30 local time recommencement of play. Shafkat makes his way out to the centre. He's yet to face the ball. And Satish Mutiala to continue with his fourth ball of the over as Wadak hits out to cover. They'll sneak through for a single. The throw comes in. Greasy conditions there for the wicket keeper. And there's one run. That's official confirmation in. This will be a seven over run chase. As Motali comes in, and this ball's pitching outside the off stump. It's steered down to backward point, and there's no run. Very slippery conditions out there. We may see a little more slower bowling to mitigate. This risk as Mutiala comes in. This is a shortish ball, pitching middle and leg, angling into the batsman. It's hit down to short cover, and there's no run. That's the over bowled. And 
And 11 runs from it. Just to recap, this SG Findorf chase of 125 runs has been reduced to seven batting overs for the SG, SG Findorf. 11. And the current target with no wickets in hand, 92. As Vardak takes strike here. And it's going to be Yogesh Shaikumapal. And his blue head where to come into bowl. Right arm over the wicket. The first ball's very wide outside the off stump and called wide. Yogesh will be doing his very best here to keep a cool head. As he bowls to Vardak, he pitches this ball right on the middle and leg stump and he's bowled. He has bowled the German international Vardak. Vardak bowled. And giving a few words of instruction <laughs> to his teammate. Comprehensively bowled there, trying to play across the line. Leg and middle stump comprehensively knocked out as he departs. A bit of a slippery wicket there. As Azizullah Davodzi will replace Vardak. Yogesh Shaj Kumapai strikes with just his second ball. Aziz. And just a few changes in the field here. Mid wicket, deep mid wicket coming up just inside the circle. Pai comes in, and this is a full ball, just pitching outside the off stump. It's hit out to cover, and they'll get one run. As the bowler comes in again, and this ball's a full delivery, hitting the batsman on the pad outside the... Uh, uh, the leg stump. There's a shy at the stumps. They do scramble through for one leg by. That ball hitting the bats from there on the full. Outside the line of leg stump. And a half shout there from fielders who were not indeed the bowler or keeper. Perhaps not being able to judge the line. is having another discussion about the rain. It has, unfortunately, just now come down even more heavily and we're going to see another suspension in play. Umpires deciding that this is, in fact, too much. Vardak appearing to suggest there is a lot of slipperiness here as he was bowled. Oh yes, we can see a big splash of water coming up there. And we are unfortunately going to have to review and wait for either this rain to clear up So that's the situation here at Kummerfeld. Unfortunately, a second rain delay stopping play in just the first two overs bowled of this chase. We will, of course, keep you updated with any changes to this match.
So some unfortunate uh, news here for our viewers and cricketers. As you can see, the rain really coming heavily down. Match officials have officially abandoned this match. Match 15 of the Dream 11 European Cricket Series. Kummerfeld, SG Findorf versus VFB Fallersleben. That results in a point split with an abandoned match. And unfortunate there that we are unable to see these two teams battle it out for a result. Match 16 will be beginning here at local time at 5.30 p.m. Uh, we're hoping that uh, the weather will, of course, have improved by them those not in Central European time that is in approximately 110 minutes in any case we do look forward to your company then hopefully with some positive news that we will be able to continue with Max 16 until then from us it's goodbye
Good afternoon and welcome to the Dream 11 European Cricket Series Kummerfeld Shield Final. We are here in a slightly damp Kummerfeld in north of Germany, just above Hamburg. My name is James. Joining me today is Rick. Thanks for having me, James. So, the matchup today are 5th and 6th place teams, SC Europa versus VFB Fallersleben, the Wolves as they may like to be known. SC Europa winning the toss and electing to bowl. It is a little bit damp out there at the moment, but we might have a slight delay to the start. Probably have to wait five minutes before we can get going. Yes, players and officials making their way out into the ground in some sort of fashion. And it's just a few, a, a few administrative tasks being clarified. Players looking to get right at it as we observe here through a slight drizzling of. Rain. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and play through the rain. We see a few bright spots over there, so we're just going to wait a little bit. The players seem to be happy waiting in the rain, but... Um, just is asking if we are wet. No, we are not. See just a few little fine tuning touches before we can get underway here. SC Europa against BFB Fellersleben. And we're expecting to begin with you at 5.35 local time. And of course hoping that this light drizzle now will not turn into anything serious. Unfortunately, had the previous match abandoned due to rain. Hello, good dog.
So we play just about ready to get underway here. It will be Imran Khan. Correction. It will not be Imran Khan opening the bowling. Indeed, the man right next to him on the team sheet is Rafil Zazai to open the bowling. With Saran on strike for VFB. Right arm over the wicket. His first delivery is just outside the off stump. It's smacked over cover for a six. First ball, six of this innings. VFB, fellas, leaving. Perfect start there for VFB. Starting from where they left off in that last rain abandoned match where they were scoring nicely against Findor. Positive start for the winless Wolves. Worst possible start for us for Phil Zazai. Giving a bit of a length there and width as he comes in again. This ball is short and pitching on middle and leg. It goes straight to the fielder at fine leg. They think about a single. Some sloppy fielding there into the keeper, but there's no run. 12 viewers tuning in on YouTube, ECN.cricket, or throughout Asia and the subcontinent on Fancode. Welcome along. You'll enjoy my freshly painted white lines out there. Does I? In again, and this ball is down the leg side. It doesn't bounce as high as it'd like to. It's a no ball court. He was struck on the pad. They scamper through for what may have been a run. Indeed, one run. Yes, yeah, so that was. It's sort of a good length here. It's a little bit damp still on the pitch, so you might see it skid on a bit there and not so much bounce. The, uh, the Wolves were aware of it. This new batsman now is looking for his leg stump. It's the giant piece of chalk. Sandeep Fasith, fortunate enough to have a free hit for his first delivery to face. As Hazai comes in, right arm over the wicket, and this ball is just short of a length. It is smacked back over his head, not with any particular force. It goes down to long, midish long on, and there's no run. Fielded there by Dawood. Yeah, didn't quite middle that one. Two men outside the circle early. They're moving, they're bringing Cal Corner in and putting a deep extra cover out, and the other fielder is long off. The bowler comes running in again. And this one will be wide. Wide signal there. Could be a slippery ball. I think everything's a little bit slippery out there. Let's see, check on my YouTube fans. Ask James what was for lunch today. I had a very nice tandoori chicken. Rick, I think, had the uh, duck. Fittingly. Zazai comes in again, and this ball is short outside the off stump. It barely bounces at all. Through the batsman, through the keeper. And that is four byes. Yes, they don't have a deep third man or a deep fine leg in place to sort of run around to cut those ones off. And it is a short boundary down there. So they'll need to keep their bowling tight and tidy here. As 
bullseye now. You already conceded a no ball and a wide in this over. He bowls oh, this one oh, right. more or less in line with off stump. The ball keeps low, it's defended, and there's no run. Question about the line saying you're not consistent. I think it's a little bit of an optical illusion. And may I add, I only did the crease lines as I rushed out there because I saw someone trying to do it freehand and I had to run out with a stencil to take over. Could call me a hero. As I again, and this ball is pitching just on middle stump. It's short. Attempted hook just gets off and drops in front of him. There's no run. That's the end of the over. 14 from it. Good first up over there for VFB Fallersleben. Very fine batsman, I believe VFB stands for. Who are you picking for this match, Rick? Very hard to say at this stage, uh, James. I do like that start by VFB. Although the depth of the SC Europe uh, batting lineup is not to be underestimated. Let's return to that in a few overs, shall we? As Imran Khan, the new bowler, comes in. Left arm over the wicket. It's a wide ball down leg side. Attempted pull. Nowhere near it. Wide signalled. I'm not afraid to say I'm probably cheering on VFB fellas Lieben. They're the underdogs. Or you could say under wolves. <laughs> Khan in again now, and this ball is pitching just outside the off stump. It's chipped back onto the batsman's foot, spills off to the keeper, and there's no run. Yes, lucky that one didn't deflect back onto his stumps there. Good start to the, after that wide four. The big Imran Khan. Khan. Off stump, fading across the batsman, misses, and there's no room for the keeper. Yes, nice tidy, all sorts of shape there. Wanted to cut it onto the offside, but doesn't get anywhere near it. And ponytail look. Comes in again, and this ball is shorter, also pitching across the line. Toward off stump, it's been cut all the way to the boundary in four runs. No! Beyond cover there. The cover fielder unable to time. Yes, and just exhibiting how slippery it is out there. As he stacks it onto his behind. Run gun, and again left arm over. Oh, yeah. That one's short and wide, and signal wide by the umpire. So right then, I didn't take it personally. But it's a very good chance they are not correctly painted those lines. As Khan comes in again, and this delivery is a full ball, pitching on off stump in the slot. You could say there's a fielder under it, and Dawood Khan takes the catch at long on, dismissed from the div and free conditions. From one Khan to another Khan, the two pieces of tall timber in the team working in tandem there to take the first wicket of the match for SC Europa. Wonderful piece of feeling there by Daywood. He never looked in doubt. Getting in position behind the ball, knowing the slippery on the feet, and of course, a slippery ball. Daywood was, in fact, the captain last time we were doing a tournament up here at the Hanover Hitout. So he was away for that one. Incoming batsman is Janadan Zidadai, who will be at the non-striker's end, the batting batsman having crossed. As Khan comes in again, and this ball is also pitched on offside. It's a similar delivery up in the air. Darwood does not have a chance this time. That's six runs straight down the ground. 
Good response this time from the batsman. I thought maybe David was going to be brought back into action again. He was running across to his left, but the ball just beat him over the boundary as it pinged into our scaffolding. Waking up our uh, cameraman up there, Richards. Richards. Can't again now, and this ball's a full ball outside the off stump. It's spanked in the direction of long off. And that's six as well. Back to back sixes after that wicket. Excellent stuff. It wasn't the best of deliveries, a bit too full outside of off there. And the batsman just happy to spoon it down over long off for another six. So good end to the over after losing that wicket for very fine batsman. Khan not doing a, long, a lot wrong there. Uh, holding a good line on off stump. You might want to see that stretched out just a little further. A lot of batsmen enjoying that slot, but they do need to make sure they connect. Looks like it's the tall Dawood Khan coming on. It's Dawood Khan to bowl the next over after his confident catch in the deep. The sort of fielder I'd certainly like to have in the deep to my bowling and I think the captain agrees as Khan comes in now right arm over the wicket and his first ball is outside the off stump batsman just lets that one go through to the keeper and there's no run yeah a little surprised he didn't try cut that one away get down low to it but oh well dot ball looks like he's bringing long on in and Pushing long off out. So long on into the circle, long off down onto the boundary. As Daywood comes in, and that's another slash outside off stump. It's been called wide. Going in wide from over the wicket, and this is a ball outside the off stump. It's slapped through the covers for four. Yes, yeah, very nice. Got down low and gripped that one nicely. Oop. Just carving it down the field. Continuing this good start for VFB. Fellas leaving. I'm sure by the end of this match, I'll have their name pronounced correctly. Jaranahan enjoying that. Covers wide, deep, long on area, making the most of the ball on its merits outside the off stump. As Darwood comes in again and this ball's also outside the off stump. It's a beautiful square drive for four. Jaranahan Really understanding the value of shots along the ground and the offside and able to execute them perfectly. Yes, yeah, so that was nicely done. You know, there's a little bit of drizzle falling down at the moment, but it doesn't seem to be troubling the batsman whatsoever. Very good shot. So the ball, I believe, is lost over there in the bush. Hopefully someone can go around and pick it up for us. Uh, again, and this ball's pitching on off stump. It's an attempted pull with a ball just short of the length. They scramble through for a single. Yeah, sound like you had a little bit of battle onto that one. Question: Where is the best place to go for a feed in Kumafeld? Ah, uh, been to the diner a couple of nights in a row. That was pretty decent. Good range of good range of food there. I'd Spare ribs one night and uh, grilled chicken the other night. Grilled chicken was very lovely with a salad and sweet potato fries. Rick over here had a tasty looking pizza. 
as Daywood comes in again to the batsman. And this ball is a shortish delivery, just angling down leg side. There's some bat or pad on it. It spills to third man, signalled leg by. One to the total. Hassan, the umpire there, is the head of, or the president of the Kumafaud Sports Throne Cricket Tai Long Cricket Club, and also runs the Norddeutsche Cricket Bund, I think. Northern, Northern German Cricket Board. As the bowler comes in again, and this is another short ball, it's hooked. It's hooked over the net for six. Yes, that was hooked very well. We're going to need a new ball for that one. I'm not sure the umpires have one out there. As, uh, another one gets tossed at him. While the ball boys scowl looking for those balls. Rahu looking for a shout out. Hello, Rahu. Getting in on the old Uber Eats. So good start this. 49 for one. The yeah, be over. Just three overs bowled and already 49 runs to EFB. New bowler is Shinvari. Yeah, Jan Dharan going along nicely here. 15 off the five delivery. Saran. Holding his own at the other end, 19 after 9. Power play is over, so they're putting their defensive field out. Long off, long on. Looks like a cow corner, yep. And a deep square leg. Tacking field on the offside. Just a point cover and extra cover. Shinwari in now, right arm over the wicket. It's a loopy ball. Pitching on off stump and bowling off stump. First ball. A.B. Shinvari, excellent ball, flighted that one up there. Batsman went after it. Just couldn't reach. Had a lot of flight. He didn't see boards. He thought I stumped and I did the piece. Thank you. Saran Kanan. Googly? Good knock there for him, 19 after 10 deliveries. And the new batsman, Sarish Kumar Mutalia. Looks like another bandana man. We've seen Mutalia achieve some success with the ball. Next wicket, boys. Next wicket, I go. Come on. As he takes. Against Shinwari. One wicket from his one ball. As A B. He comes in again, and this ball's another flighty delivery, just pitching on or around leg. It's a wide down leg side in the end. Just floating across the right. Come on, Habib, come on, Habib. Shinwari, this ball's a little flatter, it's pitching outside leg, they've taken a single with the ball spilling down to square leg, or short square leg, fielded by the keeper. Signalled led by, by the umpire. Correctly so. A good start to the over for Shinwari. Shinwari again, and this ball is wide down the leg side, an attempted sweep, the keeper did very well to stop that with his pads, signalled one wide. Sorry. You just hear the shoes squeaking on the wet turf out there through the stump, Mike. As the bowler comes in again, and this is a ball which pitches around about leg side. The leg stump, rather, ends up going beyond the batsman's pad and signalled one wide. Yeah, so he's just undoing a little bit of his hard work here with these extras. Needs to find his range again. As he comes in again, and this is another leg side delivery, another attempted pull, and another wide ball. 
Bit of Groundhog Day here. Rinse and repeat. Quick, boys. Wicket wide, two leg buys wide, wide. Tries again, and this is the ball oh pitching yeah. on leg side. Oh. It's, it's chopped down in the vicinity of the stumps. There's no run. Lucky not to cut that one onto his stumps there. Edgy here to keep her there. Edgy batsman. Edgy batsman. Shinwari again. This ball is a full toss. It's hit on the full over deep mid wicket for six. Yes, yeah, a good way to negate the turn and flight. Just go down the ground, meet it, greet it, whack it over the boundary. Good response from the batman there. Janet Hart today, ha. Knowing exactly how to dispatch of a full toss. Shinwari again, and this is a shorter ball, which is pitching just on off stump. Tidvari thinks about a single. He Declines. There's an overthrow now. They will get one in the end. As Darwood hurls it into the bowl, there could be another overthrow. But it's backed up very nicely there. By the fielder at point. to Satish as he comes in this is a shorter ball outside the off stump uh, Satish attempts to cut, misses and there's no run yes so it in the over there start off as a pretty good over for Europa yeah, be picking up some runs towards the end there. Just a question in the chat asking, do most of the players take a week off work to play in the tournament? Uh, yes, they do indeed. Some of the squads have quite a few players in their squad list to uh, try and cover some of them. So some of these players will be here all week playing. Some could only take a couple of days off of work to play. Uh, VFB, they're a late addition to this. They only got added to the tournament two weeks ago. So... Really great job from them to find a time off work to be able to play in this tournament. Much appreciated. In Germany it can be quite difficult to submit leave. You often have to do it the year before. New bowler Dev Rana. Coming in from right arm over the wicket. And this ball is a just short of a length ball on the left side of the aisle. Stump. They scramble through for a single. They'll come back for two as Dev attempted to throw down or even the keeper attempted to throw down the stumps and that's two to the batsman yeah a little bit sloppy there shouldn't have even been a single cries in the field there for backing up as Dev comes in again and this ball is a fuller ball and it's a hit him on the pad very low down it's given LBW a wicket for Dev, number 23. Batsman looking to smack that one over square. Completely missed it though, and he has to return. That's the end of Janadan Sudeha. Valuable wicket there. Failing to connect, being hit. Crouching down on the back leg. And hard to see how that wouldn't. Shaba Devi, Shaba Devi, he can't hit you, boy, he can't hit you. Stump. New batsman, Rohit Cool. Yeah, big wicket that one. He was looking good, it was Janaran. 24 after the 10 balls. But Mr. Cool's out there now. Not, I don't think that's how you spell cool, but. He joins Satish Kumar Mutalia at the crease. As Dev prepares to bowl. Cool on strike. Dev just making some adjustments to his field. Left-handed Cool looks around. Ah, left-handers. 
will be Devin now to Cool, who bowls this ball. Just pitching outside the off stump. It fades away from Cool. They scamper through for a bye. The batsman missed it. Keeper missed it. And that's one to the total. Yes, non-striker definitely didn't miss that opportunity. Called early, took off, and got there comfortably. Dev again now. Rolling to Matalia. He bowls a short ball right outside the off stump. Doesn't bounce much. This ball's punched down to deep long on, and they'll get one. In run Khan there in the field. Throws it in on the bounce, which doesn't appear to impress Dev. As Dev comes in again to cool, and this ball's outside the off stump. Dev is has been hit over. Over mid wicket there. The batsman take a single. Doesn't quite make the boundary. Yes, it was too cool for that man. An extra cover there. Tried jumping up to get to it, but couldn't quite get there. Just moving the field around a little bit. That extra cover is now going to point. They have a deep cover in place, and someone else here an extra cover. Dev. Italia. Now this is a short ball outside the off stump. Doesn't get much bounce. This is punched down to deep mid wicket. Fielded by Darwood there in the deep. And there's one run. End of the over. And VFB fellas leave him. 67 for the loss of three wickets halfway through. Yeah, got over that one for Dev. Just the five runs coming from it. Was that four? It was a five. Shaba, Shaba, go, 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 guys! This is Khan in the bowl now. Who bowls a shortish ball, just pitching up on the middle stump. Has been hit down to deep backward square for one run. Abdul Wajid Khan. Come on guys, come on guys! Bowling now to Cool. Satish. On the striker as he comes around the wicket this time. It's a shortish delivery outside the off stump. Batsman had no idea. Keeper fumbled as well. But there's no run. Yeah, team's here. Just have 45 minutes to get through their 10 overs. You can hear the keeper continually trying to hurry up his team. And in again, and this ball is straight down the wicket. He fields his own bowling with his bit of foot fancy footwork. There's no run. Yeah, these deliveries definitely going to help them get through their over rate and nice and timely. Abdul Khan again. This ball is a ball down the leg side. It's attempted to be pulled away. They think about scrambling through a leg by. Decline. And there's no run. Come on, Abdul Vajid. Really searing through his over here as this ball's outside the off stump. Another play and a miss outside off. And there's no run. Excellent delivery. Beat the blade there. That's been lucky not to get an edge onto it. Oh, hit cool. Seemingly under a little pressure here. Abdul comes again. This is another ball outside the off stump. This time it is punched through the covers. Darwood throws it in from the deep, and there's one run. And that'll be the over. Another good over that one for SC Europa. If I just head back to the YouTube chat, Ben Gabonaro asks, why was the affiliate level removed and now it's just full member or associate member of the ICC? I can't actually answer that question. I'm not really sure. Rick, you have any idea? Or any of our other viewers out there? His follow up was Was it to reduce the gulf between test playing and non test playing nations? Dev Khan continuing. Right arm around the wicket. This is a loopy ball outside the off stump. It's hit on the full and goes down to deep mid off. It's Imran Khan in the deep there who fires it in and prevents two. One run to the total. 
I do try to get to your questions. It's just a bit more difficult when there's pin bowlers uh, the getting through their balls quickly. Evrana. This is a loopy ball pitching on middle stump. It is writ on the full and goes to deep square leg. That's four. It's well played. VFB not used to playing T10 cricket. All these other teams played the tournament earlier on this month. Dev. Holds the ball. Pitching on middle stump. He's hit and immediately declined. They have been fading across the line there. Yeah, I'd have to agree with the umpire there. Looks like he's going down leg to me. As Dev comes again and this ball is a ball which is again hit on the pad an attempted sweep pull not out and no run Satish Mutiala seven from seven deliveries Dev Rana in again and this ball is a good flighted ball just outside the off stump. Darwood runs around a deep mid wicket to try to cut it off. He stops it. They'll come back for two. The throw is fired in. Yeah, gets an applause from me. Excellent fielding. You've seen far too many times this week where fielders just use their foot. That's what you need to be doing. Diving out full stretch on this soft outfield. Saved his team. A few runs there. Good fielding by Darwood. Dev Rana in again, and this ball is a foolish oh, ball. He's hit on the pad again, and this one, it is given an LBW. That's the end of Satish Kumar Mutiala. Third time's a charm there for Dev Rana. This time the umpire gives it. And the timely breakthrough for SC Europa. Slide that one up nice. Umpire said, yes, that's going to hit. A couple there, lucky with the ball fading down leg. But this one, no doubt about it. New batsman Makesh Bad here. Or Mahi for short. Joining Rohit Cool at the crease. And that is the end of the over. Shaba, shaba boy, shaba boy! It will be Abdul Wajid Khan continuing. Number 99, feeling fine. After that lightning over before, as he comes in, right arm through and around the wicket. And it's a short ball down leg side and dispatched. 4-4 four, four runs. Yes, just able to turn around and spoon that one nicely. Down fine leg for the left-hander. He bowled a fairly consistent line until that ball in fact that's a six a ah, six signal by the umpire There's a change of call there by the umpire has decided that that was in fact a six as Abdul Khan comes in again and this is a flighty ball outside the offside missed by the batsman missed by the keeper and tidied up there by Dev Rana from third man there's one by yes that was a missed opportunity there you'd have to say Mahesh Badhe face his first ball against Abdul Vajid Khan as Khan comes in over the wicket this time and this is wide outside the off stump it's punched to cover they think about a single well fielded by looks like the captain down there and covers very sharp fielder he is Abdul Khan in again Made spanks that one straight to Darwood and it's taken comprehensively at deep mid-wicket. Yes, yeah, Starwood wasn't going to miss that one. One of the better fielders out there on the field today. Just got his base nice and steady into those big mitts of his. Uh, that's the end of Mahesh Badhe, new batsman. Lucky number three. Here's Yogesh Shajikumapai. Who joins Cool? Cool on strike. Left hander has Abdul comes in through and around, and that ball's just played straight back down the wicket just to silly point. No run. That's some nice looking defence there. Yeah? You could see this man in a 
Longer format of the game as well. And Abdul, this ball is pitching just outside off stump. They scrambled through for a single. One run out to short cover. That's the end of the over. Ten from it, and VFB fellas lead them. Uh, 84 for the loss of five wickets with eight overs bowled. And it looks like star fieldsman Darwood will be bowling his second over now. Cool on strike. Accompanied by Yogesh Shajikumapai. His first over was rather expensive. Win for 16. He'll be hoping for a better result this time around. See Dawood Khan Ariubi, who comes into bowl, and this ball is pitching just outside off, fading across the batsman. Batsman misses it. There's no run as the keeper gets something behind it. Good start. Probably was this the third or fourth spin they've used? Dawood in again, and this ball is pitching on Whoa. middle stump, bowling middle stump, what? and that is the end. What yeah. a delivery, sorry, what a delivery. Didn't mean to cut you off there, but uh, Mr. Cool is gone, turned inside out once again. If we have a look at this. Nice bit of bounce off the wicket there. Through the gap and hits the top of middle. And unfortunately the non-striker there, Yogesh, losing his cool. As the new batsman, Ankit Tomar, makes his way into the crease. I like that, lost his cool. Zing. Thanks, James. Yeah, you know. Compliments. We're there, Drew. Rick. Leg, leg, leg. So that would normally a medium fast bowler, so if you're adapting to the conditions, that's what I always say. You can play cricket in wet conditions, you just have to adapt. As Dawood has done done so. As he comes in now to Anke Toma, who goes for a swipe down to Long On. They'll pick up one. Well, Yogesh considers a second, wisely refrains. That would. into Yogesh and he bowls this ball which is played back down the pitch and there's no run. He's some slower bowlers Darwood. He's normally a medium fast bowler. Darwood again. And this ball's wide down the leg side. It's come off the pad. Set her a single there, but wisely sided against it. I can't give it to him, no? I can't give it up. Drizzle seems to have stopped. Darwood in again, and this ball is outside the off stump. Punch back. He doesn't quite manage to field it himself. The long off fielder pulls it in. There's a chance of a run out, and it's an easy run out in the end. Oh. Suicidal second run attempted there by Ankit Toma. He really did lose his cool there. One run to the score and run out, Ankit Toma. Yes, it was a good throw from the fielder. Darwood calmly collecting it and whipping off the bail. Trying to see who was that fielder down there. Israfil. Israfil was the fielder at the long off. Firing that into Darwood. So a good over from Darwood. He's having a very good day out there on the field. Good recovery after his first over. There's AB Shinrari. If you bowl this over. The final over here, just a one run in the wicket coming from that previous over. The second. 
Shinvari so far, one over, one for 11. See what he can do with his second. He did bowl four wides in that uh, first over of his. And Shinvari comes in now. This is a ball pitching outside leg. Very lucky for the bowler that it wasn't wide. The batsman tried to get inside it. Came off the pad and we're indeed on by signalled. Umpire giving us a wave. Shinwari in again. And this ball is pitching just outside off stump, fading in towards the batsman, and he's bowled. Off stump. Yeah, good stuff. Batsman wanting to play that one square of the wicket. Drag it across. Doesn't connect with it. Under the bat, and as we see from our nice replay there. Replays done by Germans in the production room. Very five-star production room we have here. He's probably loving it in there. A nice comfy recliner, air conditioning while we're slaving away out here. As we see the VFB captain Shivarai Jan. Shiva for short. Coming to the crease there. He is indeed the Capitan. Shiva there, taking guard. Or not. His timbers. Uh, Shinvari comes in and this ball's pitching on middle stump. He's very unlucky oy, not to oy, bowl oy, him oy, again. Oy, oy. It goes between leg stump, the keeper, and running away for two. Buys. Yes, was very lucky there. This club, uh, VFB, this is the first full season of being the club. They only were founded last year. Shinwari again. And this ball's a flighty ball, which is hooked away. Pulled away, if you will. In any case, it's a no ball and six runs. Yeah, a bit of a poor delivery, that one. Because uh, VFB... Chance of reaching that magical 100 mark. Nixon Henderson calling for 95. And this ball has been slapped down to backward square leg. They'll pick up one, may consider a second. They don't. Very slippery conditions for everyone there, the keeper included. Shinwari just about to wrap up this innings. Comes in now. This is a short ball pitching on middle stump, but punched down to deep mid wicket. And they pick up a single. And the bowler comes in again. This is another short ball pitching just outside the off stump. It just misses the off stump. They scramble for a bye. A leg by, in fact, and get one leg by. Yep, a little freebie there to end the innings. So VFB 99 for 8 after there, a lot of 10 overs. 99 for 8, VFB fellas Leben setting a target of 100 for SC Europa Cricket. A nice round, 10 runs and over. The batting card, Saran Kanan began with 19 runs from 10 balls. Sandeep Fasith supported for some time with 5 off 5. Then it was Janadan Sedaihai, who managed 24 runs off just 10 balls with 2 4s and 2 6s. Sadish Kumar Machala, eventually LBW for the Dev's second LBW with 9 runs off 10 balls. Robert Cool managed 10 off 14. Maresh Badhe, out for a duck off 2 balls. Yogesh Shajay Kumar Pai bowled Hikamanula. Shinvari for one run. Ankitoma run out for one. Off one with someone city key. Remaining one. Not out. But yeah, some uh, useful contributions in that match there. The 24 from Janvran off just a 10 delivery strike rate of 240. Really got them going. 
But apart from that, not too much further down the order. Quite a few extras again, 22 extras. But many of them buys and league buys. They were just sharp to uh, react to the deliveries. But yeah, you know, 100 at least. It's, it's a defendable total. We just wait for the bowling scorecard to come up, then we can run you through that one. Do you see that now? This reveals his eye, opening innings, one over, 10 runs, Imran Khan, he came over, he was quite expensive, picked up the one wicket, Dawood Khan, uh, two overs, one for 18, it was a good comeback after his first over, went for 16, or 17, he just took the one wicket and two runs in his next over. Shinvari again, two overs, two for 20, a few costly wides in there, Dev Run himself also picked up two wicks, that was some good Good bowling there. There's a lot of spin attack in this uh, match compared to what you've normally been seen. Adapting to the conditions with the slippery run up and slippery wicket. So Dev Runner, two overs, two for 12. And Abdul Khan, nice spell from him. Two overs, one for nine as we just take a look at the Manhattan here. Yeah, they started off quite well. First five, or oh, in the batting power play anyway. First three overs, losing that one wicket but keeping the run rate. Above 15 there. But uh, SC Europa started to put the brakes on after the fifth over. That sixth over, a very good one indeed, just the two runs. And then the penultimate over, two wickets and only two runs from it. So some good bowling. We'll be back with you in around about five minutes to begin the chase of what is the Shield final. Do join us then.
So players returning to the field now. We And welcome back to the Dream 11 European Cricket Series Kummerfeld, live from the Kummerfelder Sports of Rhine here up in the north of Germany. We're about to get underway for the chase in this Shield final between VFB Fallersleben and SC Europa Cricket. VFB Fallersleben scoring 99, leaving Europa with 100 to chase. My name is James and joining me again is Rick. Hello Rick. Hi James, I think we might find a hundred, quite an achievable target here. Uh, Come on boys! For the Come on SC boys! Europa, plenty of deep talent there, starting with their captain here, the Hal Darvish. And the first over we're going to see here bowled by Satish Kumar Mutiala. Umpires ready, officials about to get this underway. As Murtiala comes in for his first ball, it's a lofty ball, just <laughs> pitching around about leg, bouncing over leg stump. So he almost made a meal out of that one, wanted to watch it go for a wide, came back in and just over his leg stump, a very brave leave that one. As Murtiala comes again, this is another lofty ball outside the off stump, it's slapped over deep mid wicket. And that is a comprehensive six. Yes, that was a gift for Sahil. He's a very talented batsman. Mutiala in again now. This is a fuller delivery. Pitching on off. It managed to chop it out there down to Gully. There's no run. Nice delivery this time. Just started that one in a little bit quicker. Kept low and troubled the batsman a bit. Bowler in again and this ball is just short of a length. Outside the off stump, and it's six runs over cover and into the net. Yes, six more for the skipper. Must have some dinner reservations later. Maybe at diner. It's a good spot. So, hell, having hit two sixes here, Matiala in. This is a shortish delivery. It's a Leading edge there, which goes towards point for a ball which was heading down the leg side. It's in fact been given a leg by. Yes, uh, tidy bit of fielding there, but uh, some nice quicker running. As Malit Herat looks to face his first ball here, the right hander taking guard. Satish Mutiala coming with his Again, fifth ball. Sixth ball, in fact. You can tell him from here that's not middle stump. There we go. There's the bowler comes in, and this ball's short outside the off stump. Prods at it, misses through to the keeper. No run, and that's the end of the over. Good start there for SC Europa. A couple of sixes for the skipper Saho Davish. Run rate required. Ten and over. So 
Dropped it down to 9.6 now. 87 runs and 54 balls is the equation. So Mahi looks like he's coming on. Mahesh Bhatia, no surprises that he would be one of the two opening bowlers here. Yeah. SC Europa, 13 for the loss of no wicket from their first over. Just needs to adjust his hair a little bit, got to look good on the cameras. Mum and Dad could be watching. Mahi comes in for his first delivery here. And this is a shortish ball which goes down the leg side for a wide. Well swatted there by the umpire. Just doesn't want to give any five wides away like we saw earlier today. Threw that one to the ground with disregard. Bad hey again. And this ball's a fuller ball outside the line of leg stump. He is hit and there's no run. Some comical appeals though. He was about a foot outside his leg stump. If you don't ask, you don't get him, I guess. Nah, that's, that's poor attitude. Just don't ask. Has had a bowls here now, and it's think about Mahesh bowls. It's a wide, short down leg side. My little head up being the non striker, Sahel Davish. Not able to get that one away, satisfied with the one wide. Don't want to be giving away any freebies here. Not while you still have Sahel Davish on strike. He'll be the key wicket in this innings. And this is a wide ball outside the off stump. It's smashed over deep mid wicket. Six runs. Yes, and there you can see why he's the key wicket. He can be a very destructive batsman. And dispatch, dispatch that one. Two defence for six. So you're over here with the upper hand. Mahesh Mahishpade. And this ball's a short ball outside the off stump. It's chopped down to point and there's no run. Nice ball, Mahesh. Same line, same line. Plenty of chatter in the field as same line. our viewers can no doubt perceive. A lot of energy there in what's been a bit of a soppy day. Wet conditions. And Mahi comes into bowl. This is a shortish ball which pitches around leg side. It's been chopped down to deep, fine leg. They'll come back for a second. Yes, hopefully that's the last of the rain for the week. It's sort of clearing up now. The forecast for tomorrow is for sunshine, which is. Very much welcome here. We have two semi finals coming up tomorrow third place match and the grand final. Mahesh again, and this is a shortish delivery outside the off stump. Came in quite a lot. It was chopped down and no run. Once again, lucky not to chop that one onto his stumps. But his next ball is a fuller ball outside the leg stump. It's missed everything. The captain made a token effort at it. It's been given wide, and they've run a wide as well. Best Two to the total. Best moving across to his offside there, looking to play it square. Doesn't connect, but fortunately it was too wide for the wickets. 
So I held our wish 20 not a now. Malith Herath looking for an opportunity to open his account. As Mahesh comes in, and this ball is outside the off stump. It cuts in, the batsman misses it, the keeper knocks it down, there's no run. Very nice delivery that one there on the bowler. And that's the end of the over. 25 for the loss of no wickets. Two overs bowled. Well and truly on target here, SC Europa. And the new bowler, Yogesh Sajikuma Pai. Sporting another interesting headdress. It is an interesting uh, headdress. <laughs> what? I like his style. Unique. As he comes in now, his first ball is outside the off stump. There's a wild swing from Sahel, which fails to connect. And there's no run. I can see that being something Vinny Sandu, Vinny Mr. Maximo Sandu would wear to keep the uh, sweat from his shiny bald head dripping down onto his face. And the bowler comes in and this ball is a fuller ball outside off stump. It is chipped over backward point and that's four runs. Yeah, I'm not quite sure that's where he's looking to play it, but made it there nonetheless. I got like a couple of ears on top of it, doesn't it? Little Hello Kitty look. Eustace calling for a wicket this over. They need to get a breakthrough here. The bowler steams in again. This is a full high ball outside off stump. They scramble through for a bye on top of what was a no ball. It's a free hit coming up. And this free fall. Umalis Hadarath, and this ball is a wide outside the off stump. He's connected with it over point, and it races to the boundary for four. Yes, making his way over the off stump there. Bit of a wild swing. <laughs> Not quite a helicopter, but uh, effective nonetheless. Vinny, you don't need to be tall to see that you're bald. The bowler comes in again, and this ball's a full ball just outside off stump. Playing a miss there by the batsman, and no run. Run rate currently at 8.66, 65 needed from these final. That'll be 44 deliveries now. As this ball comes in with the batsman running down the pitch almost and hitting it to cover, scrambling through for a single. One run. Yeah, made his way very far down the wicket there. I think the plan was just to try and get Sahul on strike. Sahul going along nicely, 24 off the 13 deliveries, including three sixes. Strike rate 184. As this ball is a fuller, uh, not a fuller ball, short of a length, just outside off stump. Sahil swipes, misses, and there's no run into the over. Well executed. Slow ball out there from uh, Hello Kitty. Good delivery to end the over. Looks like, is it Janadad? Janad. Oh. Good job, the boys. Good job, the boys. 
Shana. It'll be Jalan Han Shadeha. Number 25 for the VFB. Who we saw hitting the ball well in his innings. Whether he can transfer this skills and energy with the ball. And it's Mother Tarath on strike. Five from five deliveries. Captain Sahel Darwish at the other end, 24 off 14. 36 for the loss of no wicket. Uh, Janadard comes in, and this is a short ball outside the off stump. It's spanked in the air. There are a few fielders under it. It's a magnificent catch from the cover fields when they're running in the wrong direction. That would be Mahesh Badhe taking the catch. And that is the end of Malit Herath. Yes, excellent stuff. Running back, looking over his shoulder. It's never the easiest one. He bumps it first, collects it the second time while he had the fielder running towards him as well. Great catch from Mahi. And that gets the danger man, Zahul Darvish, a skipper out, bringing Paul Timber Dawood into the field. Malet Herath being dismissed there, but the new batsman Dawood Khan Ariubi. With Sahil Darvish now on strike, the batsman having crossed. Uh, Jad Nahan comes in and this ball is a short ball down leg side. Well taken by the keeper, one wide. Yes, so these two very important wickets here, both Dawood and Sahau can score at very fast rate. Quad run race, just 9.36, currently going 11.3. Got it on and again, this is a short ball outside the off time. It's spanked in the air in the direction of Long On. There's a fielder under it, and it's taken. Yogesh Shaki Kumar Pai taking a catch there at Long On. A very well-judged catch. And that is this time the end of the captain, Sahel Darwish, number nine, departing for 24 runs. Yes, great job that. By the fielder, we've seen plenty of him go down this week. Put himself in position with the old reverse cup and took it cleanly. So some good fielding from VFB taking their chances, getting themselves back into this game. Two new batsmen now out there in the middle. Well taken by Yogesh, Yogesh Sajukuma. The new batsman is Rafil Sazai coming to the crease. He'll be at the non-striking end with the batsman having crossed. And Dawood Khan Arubi to face his first ball. Neither batsman having faced a ball at the crease. Game on, I say. Game on. 37 for two. Janadad uh, comes in and this is a full loopy ball outside the off stump. Played down to cover. They'll scramble through for one. That would count out. You'll be off the mark. Shanadran, two wickets and just the three deliveries. Could this be the match-turning moment? Certainly is positive for VFB fellas Lieben. The Underwolves here in this tournament. There's the bowler comes in again and this ball's a shortish delivery, keeping low, just chipped down to deep. Backward square leg, the batsmen take one. Continuing a tidy over here. Potters Liebman as well, not used to playing these teams. They're normally in the second league. They are brought in as a late replacement. As Jus Hobbik pays for another beer for me tonight. Two Euros to cheer on VFB. Thank you very much, Just. Just joking, Yodim. Turn it on. This ball is a ball just before what we would call a sh slightly short of a good length ball outside the off stump. Steered down to Gully and there's no run. Plenty of enthusiasm out the field. Howard looks around. Bowler comes in, and this is a good length 
Just short of a length delivery, which is played back down the pitch, and there's no run. That's the over bowled. Excellent over that one for Jonathan. Two wickets and just the three runs coming from it really brought his team back into this match. Well supported by his two fielders here. Seen a lot of catches go down today, but Mahesh and Yogesh both holding on to their ones. Mahesh on the second bump, but nonetheless he took it. So it looks like Yogesh is going to come back in to bowl the second over. His first over went for 10 runs. But uh, he's probably feeling good after taking that catch. Let's see Odopa, 39 runs off four overs and just slipping behind the run right now. As Yogesh Sajikumapai continues from right arm over the wicket as he steams in now and this ball is a full ball down the leg side wide. A little bit too loose there. See if we can get this next one on track. Don't want to let any bit pressure off these two batsmen. Again. This is a wide ball outside the off stump. It would have been wide, but it's been slapped beyond point. Six runs. Yeah, it didn't quite execute that uh, ball properly. Batsman did jo good job to get down to it and cut it to a backward point. For first boundary in a while. Feels as a not willing to be content with a single wide there. Connecting with a very wide delivery. So he's six runs. moving a fielder back out there now onto that, what if you call it, deep gully or deep backward point. He's brought his square leg into the circle. The bowler comes in now, and this is a full ball pitching on middle and off. It's been kicked down to deep mid wicket. They'll pick up a single. Yeah, so we're pretty even Stevens at this point of the match. again and this ball is a, another loopy ball probably just short of a length which is steered down to deep gully they'll pick up one again this is another loopy ball he makes that one on the full and it's hit down to backward point they'll take one brings Darwood on strike just uh, two runs so far from the four deliveries for Darwood comes in again and this ball pitched around off stump it's chipped up in the air and long off comes in prevents two there's one run yeah good comeback so far after that wide and six from the first delivery just a few singles now oh oh spills the ball out of his hand This will be his last ball of his spell. As he steams in again, and this is a loopy ball outside the off stump. It's carved between cover and long off. One of the sweeping fielders cuts it off, and there's one run. And that's the end of the spell there for Yogesh Sagikumipai. He finishes with none for 22. SC Europa 51 for the loss of two wickets at the halfway mark here of their chase.
You see, will they go back with Janadra and the double wicket taken from his previous over? Looks like they will. If he could pick up another wicket, a couple of wickets here, that'd be huge for this match. Equally as important as the wickets were, just those three runs that came from that over as well. Brought the run rate back up to 10 and over. It's just dropped now to 9.8. So at the halfway stage, they're right on track here. Janet Ahan Sudeha. Two wickets for three runs with his one over. He really did make the difference there. Last changes in the field. Cover being moved as Janahad comes in, and this ball is a shortish ball just outside the off stump. It's chipped down to what would be long off, long off fieldsman. Comes up to a mid off position to field the ball, and there's one run. Yeah, Bessman happy just to get a single there. No need to panic just yet. Still five overs remaining. Still anyone's game. Kanariubi, and this ball's a good length ball, just pitching outside the off stump. Hits straight down, and there's no run. Yes, excellent bowling again from Jandran. Dawood Kanariubi, just three runs in his innings so far. eye in before looking for some big shots as this next ball is outside the off stump it's chopped down to mid wicket there's a bit of confusion here could be run out it's a direct hit and that's a big wicket with Dawood Kano Yubi run out attempting a risky single there the direct hit from the skipper to number 14 way to inspire the team here he didn't try to overthrow it as well because he's worried about the overthrows just popped it up into the stumps and sh Shiva there getting the unassisted run out. Excellent throw there in the field by Shiva. Showing his team as captain Shivarajan just how it's done. A direct hit there. Didn't even bother Jardin Run, who was ready to take the ball. And that's the third wicket as Shinwari comes to the crease. Fell Zazai on strike. Uh, Janet Hahn comes in, and this is a short ball, which is hit, hitting the batsman on the upper thigh. Spills away, and there's one, one leg by. Just turning into the chat there, just saying that he has to take a one hour car trip if he wanted to play cricket. Believe me, just in Europe, that's a small. Small uh, bit of travel needed for playing cricket. A lot of people here drive a lot further to play cricket. Janet in again, and this is a ball which is pitching on middle stump, hits straight up in the air, three, four fielders under it, and it's taken by the man at Deep Gully. Janet the man with the golden arm, is really bringing his team back into this match. Well supported by his fielders. They haven't dropped a single catch so far. Touch wood that I don't jinx them. And that was number two down there, Toma. The tall man, that uh, third man, fielding their catch nicely. Thank you, Toma, there, taking the catch. And a very, very disappointed Shinvari. He really didn't get much of that at all. Well, what a plate final this is. I'm on the edge of my seat. This could go down to the last ball, and we could see... VFB getting their first win here. New batsman. As Imran Khan as the bowler. Janad 
pulls out of that delivery with a slip. Oh, I hope he's okay there. Last ball of the over. Probably would have got a wicket from it. The way he's been bowling. Slipping on his left foot by the looks. It looks like he'll continue. Good figures so far. 1.5 overs, 3 for 4. That's outstanding. Well, his last ball, Janadhan, and this ball is a short ball pitching just around the off stump. The batsmen, a bit of confusion. They do scramble through for a single. There's a throw to the keeper's end. And Imran Khan is safely home. End of the over. SC Europa, 54 for the loss of four wickets off six overs. Again, another very, very economical over there by Janet Han Sidahe. Yes, fantastic spell. Two overs, three wickets for five runs, including those two big wickets at the top of the innings of Sahu Davish. And Malaferev. He's been well supported by his fielders, both in the catches and the run out by the captain, Shivarayan. And it's going to be super catcher Ankit Toma bowling to Israfil Zazai. Yes, Toma did well to keep his cool, to take that catch. He had the keeper running after him as well, screaming. I think the man from Gully was coming after him as well, but he held his ground, took the catch. And his team with the upper hand at the moment. 46 runs now from 24 balls. That run rate is climbing, 11.5. It was down below 10 earlier. This fulfills Azai, 12 of 8 deliveries. He's accompanied by Imran Khan at the non-striker end. Yet to face a ball. As Tomar comes in, left arm around, and we get it to short ball, and it's pulled. Four runs. Yes, not a nice ball to start with there. That was short and wide. It would have been a wide if Batsman didn't decide to dispatch it over to the backward square boundary for four. Here's Rafael. 16 now off nine deliveries. His confidence will be up. Thank you, Tomo, with some work to do. As he comes in again around the wicket, and this ball is also short. Another pull shot, it's a wide. Oh. <laughs> we haven't seen many good short balls these last few days. I mean, especially if he's short square boundaries. I mean, that is very tempting for the batsman. Still, pitch it up. And here's a bit of water at a good length on this pitch. That's what you want to be aiming for. Tema coming over the wicket now, and this is another shortish ball. Stays lower, it's chipped down to deep square leg. It'll be cut off by the fielder there. They will come back for two. It's for feel. A little more confident in the two than his partner Imran Khan at the other end. Yes, throw was to the safer end. So, six runs so far from this over. Omar, and again, and this is a better length delivery. Hit high in the air. It looks like long off is under it, and it's caught. This is great stuff from the Wolves here. VFB haven't put anything down. This is finals cricket for you, Rick. They're really not getting enough of that, Israel Fields, as I have sent some big shots today, but that was not one of them. And a very comfortable catch there. Wore it on his chest a little bit, a little bit of pain, but I'm sure, uh, I'm sure that wore away as soon as he realised he caught it. Saran Kanan there at long off. So, is it Umar Farouk, the new batsman out there? 
number 15. His team in a little bit of a spot of bother here. Imran Khan taking the strike for his first delivery. Tomar in, and this is a ball pitching around about off stump, fading away across the batsman. Imran a little disappointed there. He was unable to connect. It misses the ball, or rather the ball misses the stumps by a matter of centimetres. Yeah, good stuff. That's in there. Good length where it's a little bit damp and the ball stays lower. Good comeback. Tomar again to Imran. This is a ball outside the off stump. It's slapped down to Gully. They'll scramble through for a single. Maybe a shot at a non strike in direct. It would have been out, but he went for the safer option down to the keeper there. Not wanting to give away overthrows at this point of the game. It's probably a smart decision. And one ball remaining here in this seventh over. Farouk. As the ball comes in, this is a ball pitching up full on the off stump. It's hit down the deep mid-wicket. They'll pick up one. Yes, yeah, excellent into the over there for Enkit Toma. Putting away the short ball, pitching it up, getting the wickets, getting the singles and the dots. Three overs remaining. 38 runs required. A lot of work here to do for Imran Khan and Umar Farouk. What was a very solid foundation in the first four overs. New bowler is Deshpande. Or KD for short. Big uh, Kevin Durant fan, if you believe me. Karsht of Deshpande. Indeed, Susie Bates, best all-rounder in the world. As Despende comes in now to Farouk, and this ball's outside the off stump, coming in there. It's chopped down to mid-wicket. A slight misfield there. They'll take an easy single. Again, and this ball is outside the off stump. There appears to be an edge. The keeper has missed it. A big slashing stroke there by Imran Khan outside the off stump. And apologies for the language on the stump, Mike, there, but that could have been another wicket for them. It's the first drop of the match. There's Pande again. This ball's outside the off stump. It's crunched over cover. Oh. Six runs into the net. And that just makes it hurt even more. Drop the previous ball, hit for a six, the very next one. Big hitting there from Imran Khan. There's Pande. This is the wide ball outside the off stump and wide signalled. Imran Khan not interested. A little bit loose that one there. Tried to take the pace out of it, but uh, lost some control. This Pande again, and this is a ball outside the leg stump. Imran Khan just walks inside it, and it's a wide ball. And what could have been a very good over is not turning out so well for KD. Dropped, then six, then wide, then wide. Bowler in again, and this is a full flighty delivery. Just punched back over the bowler's head down to long off. They'll take one run. Down to 28 runs from 14 balls. Nesh Pandey again. This is another lofty ball outside the off stump. This time punched down to long on. Where it's fielded by Yorgesh. One run to the total. Yeah, Batsman just checking the bottom of his bat there. Didn't quite connect with it properly to Dumar Farouk. Roller in again. This is another lofty ball outside oh, the off stump. No. Imran Khan attempts to hit that out of the park. He misses, and there's no run. Even the keeper having trouble catching that. 
Yeah, sound like another edge on that to me. Another drop in this over. You can see him run Khan looking to smoke that one over Cow Corner. Lucky to still be there. As that's the end of the over. 74 for 5 after 8. Two overs remaining. 26 runs required. Don't go away. Thanks for tuning in wherever you are. Whether it's on www.ecn.cricket on YouTube or to our viewers in Asia and the subcontinent on Fanco. Thanks for joining us. Satish Matalia now, bowling to Farouk, who steps across and sweeps to the boundary, forward of square leg for four. Yes, nicely controlled, shot that one, getting low down to it. There's no, you know, the field at uh, backward square was quite far away from that one. She is sort of moving himself a little bit to pluck up that goal. Hole. Vitale again to Farouk, and this is another attempted sweep outside the off stump. He doesn't connect. There's no run. Keeper just playing the symbols at the moment behind the stumps there. Vitale, this is a ball outside the off stump as uh, Farouk comes down the wicket, hits it down to the deep cover boundary. They get one. Brings Imran Khan on to strike. Eight runs so far from his six deliveries. Matala, this ball's short outside the off stump. Doesn't bounce very high. Again, Imran Khan failing to connect. I think that's the spot where you want to keep it bowling to Imran Khan. He's looking to whack everything hard over square on the onside. And the next ball here, it's another let that. Oh. It's gone through what would have been slip and run down to the boundary for four. Lucky to get away with that one. Can't blame the bowler too much there. Just in this format, you don't often have a slip in place. You do often have a third man, though, so I'm surprised there was no third man. He was a quite a uh, wide third man. Natalia, last ball of his spell. And this is a short ball outside the off stump. It's within the tram lines there. It's not a wide, not called a wide. Imran can't believe it. Dot ball, end of the over. End of the spell for Mutalia. He finishes with none for 21. So, KD Deshpande coming back on again. He's looking dangerous at previous over. But it was dropped two times. So, final equation now. Last over. Could we see a famous victory here for VFB Fellas Lieben? 17 runs required. A lot of work to do here for Umar Farouk. The first balls of this last over critical as Deshpande comes in. And he comes down the wicket and it's slapped down the mid wicket. It's going to be cut off there by the fieldsman. And Sadish gets it in. There's just the one run. Oh, and Katie wears that one on the shins. But good job by Sadish. It's never easy fielding when it gets onto that uh, little bit of running track there. You never know where it's going to bounce. 15 or 5. Yes, Pande. And this ball's a good length. It's hit high in the air. Long on running in. The bowler running out. No one able to take it. They get one run. Yes, he had far to run there, looking over his shoulder, diving forward, couldn't quite get to it, but they won't mind the single right there. 15 from four. As the bowler comes in again, and this is a lofty ball outside the off stump. It's hit in the direction of mid-wicket. They scramble through. Shiva very happy to hold that ball and underarm it back to his bowler. And another single, just three balls remaining. You're going to need a boundary here to stay in this. Deshpande, Swimrun Khan, who slogs it down the ground. He doesn't get much onto it. It's gone straight to Long On, and they'll just get one run. We're on the verge of very big upset here for VFB Fellas Lieber, and they play in the second league, caught up late to replace the team, playing these first division teams. 14 off three. Farouk, he hits it down the ground as well. It's also going to be stopped down there at Long On. They'll just get one more single. This is their match to lose now. Just keep it on the pitch, and it's yours. And 
Deshpay in, in now to Khan, who hits this one down the ground as well. Down to Long On. It looks like they're going to eventually make a single. They do. One run to the total, and the victory is to the VFB Fellas Leben Cricket. They're delighted they've managed to knock off SC Europa Cricket. Yes, well done to VFB Fellas Leben, their first win in this tournament, and it was in the Shield final, so they'll be awarded for that victory. SC Europa, they had the innings going well around the five over mark, but couldn't capitalise on it. Yeah, so I'm very happy for VFB. We've shown moments throughout this tournament. They probably exhibited some of the best fielding we have seen so far in this tournament today as well. And they've been awarded with the victory. That old adage they say, catches win matches. And Rick, you'd have to say, that's very true today. We didn't see anywhere near as many poor fielding efforts here. There were catches taken well. There were sensible throws into the stumps. Sensible backing up from the stumps. Sensible takes by keepers and bowlers protecting their stumps for fielding throw-ins. And I really think that did have quite a lot to do with the end result there. Yes, Sarah. Nice group of guys as well, led by their captain, Shiva. The club was only founded last year. It was going to be their first full season of uh, competitive cricket this year. So they're in the region now, La Liga. Hoping to make their way up into the First Division Bundesliga here. And a win like that will be good for their confidence going into this uh, shortened season. So we just wait for the scorecard to come up on the screen as our scorers confirm the score here. So there it is. Here is the batting scorecard for the innings. So Sahil Darwish, we said he was going to be the main man out there. 24 runs off to 15 deliveries. Unfortunately, he fell to Jandan Siddha, who I'd say would probably be my man of the match for this game. He picked up also the big wicket of Malafera, five from just the six deliveries. Then Shivarayan, the skipper, leading from the front, running out Dawood Khan, three runs from 17. Israfil Sazai tried to get the innings going again, 18 runs from the 11, before he was taken by Anaktoma, or bowled by Anaktoma, sorry. Anaktoma, next man catching... Shinvari for a golden duck in Marakan, 15 runs for 12, and Umar for 11 of 9, just not quite enough to get them home there. But a good all round effort from just lost my words, sorry. But a good all round effort from VFB. If we wait for the bowling scorecard here to come up, there we go. If you want to run us through this, Rick. Yeah, well, Sadish Kim and Matel are opening up there, two overs there. Of course, Sadish Kumar Motella with two overs there for 21 runs. Mahesh Bade with just a one over and 12. Yogesh Shage Kumar Pai coming in with two overs and 22 runs from it. But for me, the bowler of this innings, the real winner here, the one who really did put a stop in the SC Europa innings, was Janadan Siddha. He bowled two overs, conceding a mere five runs with three wickets to really put the brakes on what was an excellent start. And in my opinion, a very worthy winner of Man of the Match. Ankit Tona, one over. Nine runs there with the one wicket. And Karstub Despande there with two overs at the end, conceding 17. Yes, and if you look at the Manhattan there, the innings was pretty even right up until that fourth over mark when Jean did take those two wickets for just the three runs, and that was when it really started to turn the tides. They tried to fight back, did SC Europa in that fifth over, picking up 12 runs from it, but... Frequent wickets after that halted the innings. And VFB fellas Lieben win the plate final. Congratulations to them. Thank you all for tuning into this match. Don't forget we'll be back again 9am tomorrow morning with the first semi-final. That is PSV Han Munden versus the host. Come with out of sports, Ryan. So I will wish you a good night. Rick, thanks for having us here. Thank you, James. And we'll see you tomorrow.
Concerns before the tournament started with your such late, late replacement, but uh, you've gone their way. The more than just you guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 